Shalom and welcome. The title of today's class, Angels, Saints, Elect, and Their Relationship. Angels, Saints, Elect, and Their Relationship. How are they connected? We go to search the scriptures and let God be true and every man be a liar. We open up in the book of Tobit, chapter 2, I read verse 1 and 2. Now when I was come home again, Tobit, and my wife Anna was restored unto me, with my son Tobias, in the feast of Pentecost, which is the holy feast of the seven weeks, there was a good dinner prepared me, in the which I sat down to eat. So his wife prepared him a nice dinner, dinner lavish dinner. And when I saw abundance of meat, I said to my son, Go and bring what poor man soever thou shalt find out of our brethren. He said, Go and find what? Go for the poor one, and out of what? Your brethren. He was very specific. Who is mindful of the Lord? Who is keeping the Lord's statutes, commandments, and judgment, and testimonies, and precepts of the Most High? He said, Go and find a poor one of your brethren who keeping them commandments and bring him to, because there's plenty of food here for me. I, we can eat all this alone. And lo, I tarry for thee. He said, I'm waiting for you. Tobias, go, go, go and find that brother. And I'm waiting for you to come back. Tobit 4, I read 1 to 3. And I jumped to Tobit, Tobit 4 and 1. In that day, Tobit remembered the money which he had committed to Gabriel in rages of media. So his friend, he had given him some money to keep for him. Ten talents of silver. And said with himself, I have wished for death. Wherefore do I not call my son Tobias, that I may signify to him the money before I die. So you say what? I'm about to die. I'm getting old. So time and one, I'm going to pass on the money to, to Tobias. Let him know, okay, um, Gabriel had this money for me. I'm about to pass it on to you. And when he had called him, he said, My son, when I am dead, bury me, and despise not thy mother, but honor her all the days of thy life, and do that which shall please her, and grieve her not. So you say what? I'm about to die. I'm passing this money unto you. Take care of your mother. Jump to verse 20. And now I signify this to thee, that I committed ten talents to Gabriel, the son of Gabriel's at rages in media. So he gave him what? Ten talents of silver. He said, I give him that to keep for me. So go and, go and get it and utilize it. You see what? Go in media. And fear not, my son, that we are made poor. He said, don't worry. If we are what? If we are made poor. Because they are taking away all to it. Well, when he was burying the dead, he was doing the, the, his arms deed and what? Burying dead, his dead brethren, his dead Israelites that were being put to death by the heathen. So when he find the dead bodies anywhere, he take them and bury them. So the, the, the rulers were what? Persecuting him for, for, for touching them. So he had to run for his life. <laughs> so he come back, he said, and fear not. He said, don't fear them. My son, that we are made poor. If they want to take away your wealth, don't worry about that. Means what? Count it but down. For that has, for thou has much wealth. He said what? Don't worry about this physical wealth. All that money. He said what? They take away my home, the home. They can take away wealth. He said don't worry about that. Because why? For thou has much wealth. Has what? Much wealth. Other than money. Pay attention. And property. He, pay attention to what his book is saying. He said what? You don't worry about it. What is the much wealth he have? Go to First Timothy 6 and 6. Go to First Timothy chapter six and six. What is the mo mo the much wealth that to 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 be telling to buyers you have other than physical money and possessions? First Timothy six and six. But godliness with contentment is great gain. But what godliness and being contented is great gain. Go to Sirach twenty seven and twelve. What is godliness? Sirach chapter thirty seven and verse twelve. But be continually with a godly man. Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Pay, pay attention. Whose mind is after according to thy mind. Whose mind is what? According to your mind. Your mind. Continually with him. Keep company with him that keeping the commandments. That's why he said go and bring someone that is mindful for the, mindful of the Lord. Who keeping the commandments. Bring him to eat with me. So he said what? Go back to 2, two bit 4 and 21. And fear not. He said what? My son that we are made poor. If the heathen come and take away wealth. For doing what? Being what? Righteous to your brethren. Pay attention. He said what? For thou hast much wealth. He said you have what? Much wealth. Be, be contented with what thou have. First Timothy 6 and 6 again. But godliness, keeping the commandments with contentment is great gain. And being contented with whatever little you have. Pay attention. Keep them commandments. For we brought nothing into this world. We brought what? Nothing into this world. We didn't come with nothing. And it is certain we can carry nothing out. He says, certainly you ain't carrying out no wealth and possession. Just be, keep them commandments. Be continually with a godly man who you know to 
you do here, no is keeping the commandments. Pay attention. Go to Romans 8. Romans 8 and read verse 16 and 17. Romans 8 and 16, 17. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The Holy Spirit will bear witness with our spirit because we're going to understand what's being taught. Pay attention. If you understand what's being taught, your spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Most High, is uppercase, that's here, lowercase purity. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Father, the Most High, is what? Bearing witness or connecting with our spirit, our carnal spirit on this earth. Pay attention. So if you understand and you're hearing, you're seeing, and you're understanding, you're processing the teaching, the Most High is bearing witness with you. Pay attention. That you are the children of God. We are the what? Children of God. That's what you understand. And if children, then heirs. Then what? You are the heirs of God. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Mashiach. Pay attention. You are heirs of God and joint heirs with Mashiach. That's the wealth you say you're going to have. You are what? Heirs of God and joint heirs with Mashiach. Pay, pay attention. You say what? If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified with him. If they take away money, don't worry about it. It's the suffering of Mashiach. Arm yourself with the same mind to suffer as he suffered. That's what he tells me. This Mosai is what? The Mosai is purging you. Mosai is trying you. You see what you're going to do. Back to Tobit 4 and verse 21. And fear not, my son, that we are made poor by the oppressors. Pay attention. For thou hast much wealth. You have what? Much wealth because you are an heir of God or an adjoint of Yahushua Mashiach. Pay attention. He said, don't worry about the physical wealth. With godliness, with contentment, that's it. It's great gain. If thou fear God, if you what? If you fear God, you have what? Great wealth. Because you're going to be an heir of God or a child of God or joint, an adjoint heir with Yahushua Mashiach. If thou fear God, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have they that do his commandments. Psalms 111 verse 10. He said, if you keep God's commandments, if you do them, you will have much wealth. You will be an heir of God, or child of God, or joint here with Yahushua Mashiach. Pay attention. If thou fear God, and depart from all sin, and know what? Depart from all sin. Leave up from your sins to meddle with them no more. Pay attention. You have to stop sinning. From henceforth, do it no more. As you learn, apply, keep it moving. Pay attention. Confess, forsake your sins, and, 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 and beg for forgiveness, and keep it moving. Don't do it no more. And that and you do that which is pleasing in the sight. You have to do what is what? Pleasing in the most sight. What's pleasing in the most sight? Keeping his laws, statutes, commandments, testimonies, judgment, precepts, ordinances. Pay attention. Keeping them. When you hear, you learn, apply. Keep it moving. Keep pressing forward. Keep pressing for the prize. Pay attention. That's what he's saying. That's the much wealth you're going to have. Two bit five and one. Tobias then answered and said, Father, I will do all things which thou hast commanded me. But how can I receive the money, seeing I know him not? He said, oh, I don't know, I don't know who um, Gabriel is. He said, I don't know, I don't know Gabriel. I never met him before. But he said, I'm going to do what he commanded me to do. Then he gave him the handwriting and said unto him, Seek thee a man which may go with thee. He's right. He said he wrote the address for him. This is where you're going to find him, the location. And he said, look for a man to go with you, to accompany you. While, while I yet live. He said, while I'm still alive, find someone to go. So make haste and do it. And go and receive the money. Go to this address. Pay attention. Therefore, when he went to seek a man, he found Raphael. That was an angel. So he went in the streets looking for, uh, looking for somebody to accompany him. Asking for somebody to accompany him to go on a trip. Let's go on a trip. I need, I need help. Two of us could go. Go together. He find who? Raphael. That was an angel. The archangel Raphael. Pay attention. As a man walking in the midst of them. Pay attention. Walking in the midst of them. That was um, um, Hebrews... Hebrews 12 and 2. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 2. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels on a way. Pay attention. Be mindful as we say, because angels could be walking among you and in the form of what? A man. Pay attention. Back to 2 with 5 and verse 4. Therefore he went to seek a man, as the Father commanded him to accompany him to go to media. And he found Raphael, that was an angel, the archangel Raphael, pay attention, was who the Mosai sent to go with him, pay attention. He was what? A man, a physical man, pay attention. But he knew not, he didn't what? He didn't know the angel. You need to pay attention. So who was in front of him? A man. So you need to pay attention. And the teaching is the angels of Prophet Smoke, pay attention. It's higher planes of existence, so they can transform, appear, disappear, pay attention. Because you're in a carnal state, you can't see. But he knew not, and he said unto him, he didn't know who he was, was Raphael with him. He, he met a man, the man agreed to go with him, but he didn't know the archangel Raphael. 
but he knew not. And he said unto him, Canst thou go with me to rages? You say, Can you accompany me to media? And knowest thou those places well? He said, You know, you know, you're familiar with ter the territory because I don't know it. To whom the angel said, I will go with thee. The angel, oh, Raphael, he didn't know it was an angel. He said, What? Well, I will go with thee. And I know the way well. For I have lodged with our brother Gabriel. He said, What? I, Raphael, have lodged or spent time with our brother Tobit, me and your brother, our Israelite brother, Gabriel. Pay attention. Gabriel is what? A fellow Israelite. Pay attention. He said, We lodge, I, I Raphael, lodge, stay in his house. Pay attention. So I know where I know where you're going. Then Tobias said unto him, Tarry for me, wait for me, till I tell my father. He said, I will tell my father, I'll find somebody to accompany me. Then he said unto him, Go and tarry not. He said, Don't, don't wait too long. Don't spend too much time. So he went in and said to his father, Behold, I have found one which will go with me. Then he said, Call him unto me, that I may know of what tribe he is. So you're going to do what? Inquire my veteran him. Pay attention. And whether he be a trusty man to go with thee. I have to know what? Whether he go rob you, because his ten talents are silver coming. I have to know if he trustworthy to go with you, because he could rob you. So he called him, and he came in, and they saluted one another. Then Tobit said unto him, Brother, show me of what tribe and family thou art. To whom he said, Dost thou seek for a tribe or family, or an hired man to go with thy son? He said, Where you want? You want to know what family? You want a family, a tribe, or, or what? You just want somebody to accompany him. What do you want? Then Tobit said unto him, I would know, brother, thy kindred and name. He said, I want to know something about you. I want to know your background. Then he said, I am Azarias. I am who? Azarias. The archangel Raphael said, What? I am Azarias. My earthly name is what? Azarias. When I was an under earth, as an earthly man, my name is what? Was Azarias. I was an Israelite, just like you. Pay attention. My name is what? Azarias. I am Azarias, the son of Ananias the Great. My father it was Ananias. Pay attention. I am an Israelite like you too, but pay attention. And like your son Tobias, pay attention. This is some heavy stuff here. And of thy brethren, and what? Of your brethren, I'm an Israelite like you. Pay attention. Then Tobit said, Thou art welcome, brother. Be not now angry with me, because I have inquired to know of thy tribe and of thy family. For thou art my brother of an honest and good stock. For I know Ananias and Jonathan, sons of the great Samias, as we went together to Jerusalem to worship and offer the firstborn and the tenths of the fruits, the tenths of the, the, the fruits of the field, and they would not seduce with the error of our brethren. These ones would not never seduce with the error of the brethren, the, the wicked of Israel. Now he's saying they were these ones kept the law. He said, I know the family. I say, I know your family. That's my that's my brethren, that's my boys. He said, What? Them was never no sin and no violation. They were never what? Seduced with the error of our brethren. So many of your brethren gonna do what? Seduce you. That's what Yahushua was warning you about. Don't be seduced. Pay attention. Many of brethren will seduce you. They will teach you erroneous stuff and erroneous doctrine. They will teach you to violate God's laws. Pay attention. My brother, thou art a good stock. He said, What? That family is a good stock. You come from a good stock. I know they teach you well. Pay attention. But tell me, what wages shall I give thee? He said, What, what, what shall I pay you? Compensation. Will thou, will thou eat drunk in a day and things necessary as to mine own son? He said, I will give you what? A drunk in a day and the necessary um, stuff that Tobit need. Pay attention, food, etc. I'm treating you as him. Yea, moreover, if you return safe, I will add something to thy wages. He said, if you come back safe, I will give you a, a, a bonus. So they were well pleased. Then said he to, to, to Tobias, prepare thyself for the journey. And God sent you a good journey. And when his son had prepared all things for the journey, his father said, go down with this man and God which dwelleth in heaven. Prosper your journey. He said, the most I will prosper your journey, make you go safe and come back safe. And the angel of God keep you company. He said, what? And the most I will send an angel to protect all you. We're not going. Pay attention. He said, the most I, the angel of God, go accompany you and Azarias. We're not going. So all are going to be safe. So that was too bit prayer. So they went forth both and the young man's dog with them. But Anna, his mother, wept and said to Tobit, Why hast thou sent away our son? Is he not the staff of our hand in going in and out before us? He was taking care of us, doing all the work, the chores. Be not greedy to add money to money. She said, Don't be greedy for money, though we have resources with money. But let it be as refuge in a, let it be as refuge 
in respect of our child. He said, what? She said, what? Don't, it's not worth the risk sending him out there with that. She said, forget the money, leave it alone. <laughs> For in that which the Lord had given us to live, that suffice us. She said, the little we have, I'm comfortable with it. She said, I'm good with it. Don't risk Tobias life sending him for that money. Then said Tobit to her, Take no care, my sister. He shall return in safety, and thine eye shall see him. He said, Don't worry, the most I will protect him. For the good angel will keep him company. The most of us said an angel to, put, to accompany them, to bring them, take them safely and bring them safely. So I pray to the most high, and his journey shall be prosperous, and he shall return safely. She, she said, he can, he can succeed, and he will come back succeed, successfully with the money. Don't worry. Then she made an end of weeping, so she stopped crying. Tobit 6 and 1. And as they went on their journey, they came in the evening to the river Tigris, and they lodged there. And when the young man went down to wash himself, a fish leaped out of the river and would have devoured him. Then the angel said unto him, Azarias, Take the fish. And the young man laid hold of the fish and drew it to the land. To whom the angel said, Open the fish and take the heart and the liver and the gall and put them up safely. So the young man did as the angel commanded him. And when they had roasted the fish, they did eat it. Then the boat went on their way till the junior to the Ekbaktin. Then the young man said to the angel, Brother Azarias, he called him what? Brother Azarias, to what use is the heart, the liver, and the gall of the fish? Why did he tell me, keep the heart, the liver, and the gall of the fish? And he said unto him, Touching the heart and the liver, if a devil or an evil spirit, if a what? A devil or an evil spirit trouble any, trouble anybody, we must make a smoke thereof before the man or the woman, and the party shall be no more vexed. As for the God, it is good to anoint a man that had whiteness in his eyes, and he shall be healed. So he's giving him, revealing some stuff to him here. Pay attention. And when they were come near to wages, the angel said to the young man, Brother, today we, we shall lodge with Raguel, who is thy cousin. He also had one only daughter named Sarah. I will speak for her, that she may be given thee for a wife. He said, what? I will speak on your, on your behalf. When I reach your cousin Raguel, he said, I will speak for, for Sarah for, to you. Because why? She may be given thee for a wife. Because he understood what? He came on assignment. Tobias seen a mere man in front of him, but he's an angel on assignment. Pay attention. And the maid is fair and wise. Now therefore hear me. And I will speak to her father. And when we return from wages, we will celebrate the marriage. For I know that Raguel cannot marry her to another according to the law of Moses. He cannot marry her to another outside the tribe. But he shall be guilty of death because the right of inheritance that rather appertain to thee than to any other. That was the law then. Then the young man answered the angel, I have heard, brother Azarias, that this maid had been given to seven men who all died in the marriage chamber. Seven men attempted to marry her. Pay attention. And now I am the only son of my father, and I am afraid, lest if I go in unto her, I die as the other before. For a wicked spirit loveth her. A what? A wicked spirit loveth her. That's what you see what? Which hurteth nobody. But it don't hurt it don't hurt anybody but who? But those which come unto her. It, the, the spirit that's on her did not interfere or, or, or um, destroy nobody else, but who? Those who come unto her. Who want attempting to marry her or, de, or deflow her? Pay attention. Who attempting to deflow her? Wherefore I also fear lest I die and bring my father's and my mother's life because of me to the grave with sorrow. They're gonna grieve for me if I get put to death. They're gonna grieve and pine away. For they have no other son to bury them. I'm the only son. He said, what well, I fear. I don't want to really, really, really want to marry him. Then the angel said unto him, Dost thou not remember the precepts which thy father gave thee, that thou shouldest marry a wife of thy own kindred? Wherefore, hear me, O my brother, for she shall be given thee to wife, and make thou no reckoning of the evil spirit. He said, don't worry about the evil spirit. For this same night shall she be given thee in marriage. In marriage. And when thou shalt come in to the marriage chamber, thou shalt take the ashes of perfume, and shalt lay upon them some of the heart and liver of the fish, and shall make a smoke with it. And the devil shall smell it. The what? The devil shall smell it and flee away. So what who is that wicked spirit that loved her? The devil. The devil. We read, read in verse 14. And now I am own and now I am the only son of my father, and I am afraid lest if I go in unto her, I die. As the other before, for a wicked spirit loveth her. Who is that wicked spirit that loved um, love um, Sarah? The devil, verse 17. And the devil shall smell it and flee away. Satan, pay attention. <laughs> He's blocking, blocking her. Pay attention. And taking out, killing anybody that come near her. Pay attention. Who took out Eve? Pay attention. <laughs> you need to pay attention. You see what? And the devil shall smell it and flee away. 
and never come any more. But when thou shalt come to her, rise up both of you, and pray to God, which is merciful, who will have pity on you, and save you. Fear not, for she is appointed unto thee from the beginning. The angel says what? Raphael said, Tobias, she is appointed unto you. And thou shalt preserve her, and she shall go with thee. Moreover, I suppose that she shall bear thee children. Now when Tobias had heard these things, he loved her, and his heart was effectually joined to her. So he said, what do you say? Well, go have children. Tobit 8, 8 and 1. And when they were supped, they brought Tobias in unto her. And as he went, he remembered the words of Raphael, and took the ashes of the perfumes, and put the heart and the liver of the fish, thereupon, and made a smoke therewith. These men will keep the commandments and the laws and, and, and the testimonies and precepts of the Mosai. The Mosai will hear them, so the angel came and gave him understanding. It's not talking about you being a witness of wickedness and go and try and do stuff. Pay attention. These men knew what they were doing. <laughs> they were keeping the laws zealously. The witch smell, when the evil spirit had smelled, he fled into the utmost parts of Egypt. Satan, what flee? Satan, the devil himself, was on her. Pay attention. Taking out men, left, right, and center. When he smelled it, he flee into the Egypt, into the utmost parts of Egypt. And the angel bound him. And the what? The angel bound him. Go to Revelation 2. Revelation chapter 20 and verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is called the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Pay attention. And the angel, what? Bound him. Bound him in the what? The bottomless pit. Back to Tobit. 8 and verse 4. And after that, they were both shut in together, Tobias and Sarah. Tobias rose out of the bed and said, Sister, arise, and let us pray that God would have pity on us. Then began Tobias to say, Then began Tobias to say, Blessed art thou, O God of our Father, and blessed thy holy and glorious name forever. Let the heavens bless thee and all thy creatures. Thou madest Adam and gavest him Eve, his wife, for an helper and a stay. He's praying what? As you give Adam Eve, pay attention. Who was an an, an, an Sarah? Satan, pay attention. Who was an Eve? Satan, pay attention. Who take out Eve? Satan, pay attention. And she, you, you destroy her and use her to, to destroy Adam, to take out Adam. So pay attention. So what was he doing here? He was on who? Sarah again, the same way. You need to pay attention. Thou made us Adam and gave us him Eve, his wife for an helper and a stay. Of them came mankind. Thou hast said, It is not good that a man should be alone. Let us make him an aid like unto himself. And now, O Lord, I take not this my sister for loss. I take what? Not this my sister for loss. I'm not marrying her for loss. Pay attention. So why would the other man gain kill? For loss. They were lost enough after to lay with her to the flower virgin. Pay attention. And the devil is there, just there waiting. Take the behind now because the spirit ain't right, the mind ain't right. They ain't pure, they ain't pure in the sight of the Lord. They ain't keeping them commandments in the sight of the Lord. Blamelessly, pay attention, Satan was what? Taking them up, left, right, and center. And now, O Lord, I take not this my sister for loss, but uprightly, lawfully, therefore, mercifully ordained that we may become aged together. And she said with him, Amen. That's when she said it at the end of the prayer, Amen. Pay attention. So, no, she wasn't leading the prayer. <laughs> you need to pay attention. Many sisters, oh, they need to be mindful. And so they slept both that night. And Ragel arose and went and made a grave. The, the, the father gave up and what? Dig a grave. Pay attention. Seven already. He buried seven already. So he said, is this going to be number eight? He went and dig a grave. Saying, I fear lest he also be dead. And when Ragel was coming to his house, he said unto his wife, Edna, send one of the maids and let her see whether she, he be alive. He said, what? Send a maid to check and see if Tobias is alive. If he be not, that we may be bury him and no man know it we're going to bury him in secret pay attention so the maid opened the door and went in and found them both asleep they were both sleeping and came forth and told them that he was alive he said she said he's alive then Raguel praised God and said oh God thou art worthy to be praised with all pure and holy praise therefore let thy saints praise thee with all thy creatures and let all thy angels and thine elect praise thee forever stop these men before they deflowered her, they were being put to death by Satan. Pay attention. Satan was not allowing them to lay with her to deflow her. He was killing them. Because they had what? Lost in their mind. Pay attention. He was killing them. Because they were being more protected for him. She was not meant for them. <laughs> so she was being protected by the Mosai. Pay attention. 
Then he said what? Then Raghia praised God and said, O God, thou art worthy to be praised with all pure and holy praise. Therefore, let the what? Let thy saints, the what? Thy saints, praise thee with all thy creatures, and let all thy angels, thy what? Saints and angels, and thine elect, praise thee forever. So the saints, angels, and elect are interconnected. Pay attention. What is the connection? Because what? Angels, saints, angels, saints elect, and their relationship. What is their connection? Pay attention, because to um, Raghel say, Let thy saints praise thee with all thy creatures, and let all thy angels and thy elect praise thee forever. Pay attention, he's specifying certain things here. Psalm 145, verse 10. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. He said, all thy works, your creation, shall give praise to you, and know your what? Your saints shall bless thee. Your saints shall bless thee. We keep reading. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power. The saints are going to be speaking of what? The glory of thy kingdom. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. The saints are supposed to be on earth. The saints are the children of Israel. They shall speak of what? Thy kingdom. If you are a saint of God, you're going to be what? Testifying of God's kingdom. The glory of the kingdom that's about to come. You need to pay attention. You will be prophesying. Yahushua kingdom is coming. You will be prophesying the Most High's kingdom is coming. Pay attention. The Bible says, They, the saints, shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power. They'll be talking of what? The power of Yahushua Mashiach. The power of the Most High is coming to what? Decimate this sinful realm. To decimate these mean nations. To what? To destroy the wicked of his people who don't return to the laws. He's coming to what? Shut this earth down and establish the kingdom of God. You'll be testifying of the kingdom of God. Pay attention. To make known to the sons of men his mighty acts. Well, the saints of God will make known the mighty acts of the Most High God. Pay attention. And the glorious majesty of his kingdom. And the what? The glorious majesty, the wealth, and the, the, the beauty is going to be in the kingdom of, 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 of yeah, the Most High. Pay attention. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. The Lord uphold that all that fall. And raise it up all those that be bowed down. Because if you, you fall in the midst of sin, if you repent and confess and forsake your sins and return to him, he will uphold you or deliver you or give you salvation. The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. The Most High will always provide for us. Pay attention. Thou openest thine hand and satisfiest the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Most High is right. In all, whatever he's doing, the most I say, fear not. Don't fear them. Don't fear the heathen. Don't fear the wicked of your brethren. Fear them not. Believe only. So you know, Yahushua keep telling the disciples, fear them not. Believe only. Pay attention. Because it's above their pay grade. The most is in charge of all this. Everything that's happening on this earth, everything that's happening in heaven, the most is in charge of it. It's his master plan. Pay attention. Fear not. He sent you, do your assignment. Just go do your assignment. The most I says, what? Well, I have it. Pay attention. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth, keeping the commandments of the Lord. The most I say what? He is nigh unto you. He's going to be what? Near to you once you repent, for confess and forsake your sins, keeping the Lord's statutes, commandments, and judgment, and precepts, and testimonies, and ordinances of the most high God. He will be what? Near to you. The angel of the Lord encamped wrong them that fear him. Psalm 34, 7. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him. If you keep in the commandments, he will be near to you. He sent holy angels to protect you. Pay attention. From evil angels. Pay attention. I'm in charge of it all. One is my sword. Pay attention. <laughs> one is your, your protection. One is to do good. One is to do evil. Pay attention. If you obey me, good for you. Pay attention. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. Your desire is what? Salvation or everlasting life. Or a place in the kingdom. Pay attention. The Lord preserveth all them that love him. The, the, what is the love of God? 1 John 5 and 3. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. That what? Love him. That keeping his commandments. He will preserve you. Preservation of everlasting life in his kingdom. Pay attention. But all the wicked will he destroy. All who what? Don't want to keep his commandments. He will what? Destroy. Pay attention. The heathen and the wicked of your brethren who refuse to repent and forsake and confess and forsake their sins and return to his laws, he will what? 
the Lord preserveth all them that love him, everlasting life, eternal life, in the kingdom, back as angels of God, pay attention, or saints, but all the wicked who refuse to repent and return to the laws, will he destroy, he will destroy and decimate, it doesn't matter, I'm, in, I'm Israel, I'm Israelite, and I don't want to keep the laws, the most I say, all the wicked who refuse to keep the laws, along with the heathen nations, will he destroy, who don't keep, nobody's keep, who's not keeping the laws, going to be saved, or preserved, you can't be preserved from death if you're not obeying him. Pay attention. He can't be nigh to you. He's not, he, he near to you that call upon him in, in truth, who keep in the laws and the commandments. Psalms 19 verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Who call upon him, keep in the laws. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Psalms 103 and 17. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him. The, upon them that what? Fear him that keep in his commandments. Psalms 111 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, a good understanding of they that keep his commandments. You have to do it so you can understand what's being taught. Pay attention to mysteries. And his righteousness unto children's children, unto generation, generation, generations. To such as keep his covenant. To such as what? Keep his covenant. The most I will be merciful to every one of you Israelite brothers and sisters that keep his covenant. Pay attention. If you could keep it, he will have mercy on you. If not, all the wicked will he destroy. Pay attention, we just read it in Psalms 145 and verse 20. If you're not keeping it, he's not going to be merciful unto you. Pay attention. To such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments, to do them. To such as what? Keep in the covenant and do the commandments. Pay attention. Remember, bring it to memory, repent, confess and forsake our sins, and return to the laws and the commandments, and do them. The Lord had prepared his throne in the heavens. And his kingdom ruleth over all. He's prepared what? His throne in the He's preparing a place for you. That where I am, I am, there you may be also. That's what Yahushua came and telling them. In my father's kingdom are many mansions, many, many mansions. For I go to prepare a place that wherever I am, Yahushua said, where I'm going back to the heavenly realm, there you may be also who obey me and follow what I ordered them and commanded them to do, which is the commandments of the most high God. Pay attention. To keep the command the covenant, keep the commandments. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels. Bless the Lord who? Ye his angels, that excel in strength, and do his commandments. And what? Do his commandments, and hearken unto the voice of his word. Who, what, what did the, uh, the, the angels, Ra, angel Raphael say to Tobit? Keep them commandments. Pay attention. He said, I am what? Azarias. I'm an Israelite just like you. I was born an Israelite just like you. And guess what happened? I resurrected. Pay attention. He said, I am Azarias, one of your brethren. Pay attention. And yet the word, do the commandments. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength. That do what? Excel in. Pay attention. Excel in strength that do his commandments. You're not going to be normal. You will what? Excel in strength. Go to the next level of understanding and spirituality. Pay attention. Hearkening unto the voice of his words. So the voice of the Lord is what? Doing his commandments. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts. Ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Pay attention. Bless the Lord, all his works in the places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. So, the angels, the angels are what? The saints, angels, saints, angels, saints, elect. What's the correlation? Pay attention on what's the relationship and the connection between them. Psalms 46, 1-11. Psalms 46, verse 1 to 11. What's the connection? Psalm 46 and 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will we not fear? Though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, he's coming to bring destruction, help, hell and mayhem, death and mayhem, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Silla, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad, the city of God, the what? The city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Mosai. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. The city of God will not be removed. He will decimate this earth. Pay attention. Reconfigure it. Purge it. Pay attention. Destroy, destroy evil and the wicked off of it. Pay attention. But what? The city of God or the heaven will not be moved. His tabernacle will not be moved. Pay attention. His holy tabernacle will not be moved. There is a river, the stream thereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Mosai. God is in the midst of her, 
she shall not be moved. My kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. The heavenly domain, pay attention, is untouched. God shall help her. And that right early. The heathen rage. The what? He said these heathen nations are what? They're mad as hell. They're mad as hell. Why are they mad as hell? Go to Revelation 11. <laughs> Go to Revelation 11, now verse 15. Why are they mad as hell? And the seven angels sung them, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Mashiach. Pay attention. The most High God is coming to take it back. Pay attention. It's on loan to them to punish you Israelite brothers and sisters for iniquity, for violation, for sin, for transgression, the laws of your most High God. Pay attention. So he's coming to what? Take it back. Him and his son, Yahushua Mashiach. Pay attention. And he shall reign forever and ever. He's coming to take it back. And what? We establish the city of God. Pay attention. And his domain that is going to be what? Untouched. Pay attention. Verse 18. And the nations were angry. They what? They mad as hell. And the wrath is come. They what? The destruction. Because the wrath of the wrath of God and the Lamb. Pay attention. The wrath is come. And the time of the dead. That they should be judged. He's coming to do what? Judge this earth. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. He's coming to what? Reward the prophets with everlasting life. To be what? Angels. Pay attention. Saints. Elect. Chosen. Pay attention. That's why Azareth keep calling Tobias, Brother Tobias. He calling Tobit, Brother Tobit. Pay attention. I am Azareth. That's Angel Raphael. He said, I am one of you. Pay attention. That the most I bring out. Pay attention. He said, I am one of you. He's coming to what? Give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. Who are the prophets? The Israelites. Pay attention. Give reward to bring them to be what? Angels. You need to pay attention. The chosen, the elect. Pay attention. And to the saints. To the who? The saints. So who are the prophets? Angels. Saints. Pay attention. We are falling into sin. So he's coming to his, his saints. He's coming for his saints. His, his, his prophets. Pay attention. The holy prophets. The wicked ones or the false prophets or the evil prophets will be destroyed. Psalm 145, 20. He said, all the wicked will he destroy. The most, he said, I'm going to destroy the wicked who are not keeping my laws. Who put in their own thoughts and their own spin and their own meanings and their own opinions to what the Bible is saying, to what God is commanding us to do. He said, I come in for them. I don't know them. Pay attention. I come in to reward my servants, the saints, the prophets and the saints, and them that fear thy name, who keep in the commandments small and great, and should it destroy them, which destroy the earth. All who the heathen nations, pay attention, he's coming to decimate them for destroying his earth. Pay attention. He give them, this is their heaven. This is their rulership. This is their dominion. They live it up to the large, but the most high said, come to take them out. They destroy my earth. Go back to Psalm 46 and verse 6. The heathen rage. Why are they, why are they mad? Why are they enraged? Because he's coming to take back the kingdom from them. He's coming to shut down their nice, the, the nice, delicious lifestyle. They live in what? Deliciously. Pay attention. He's coming to take away that delicious lifestyle. The hidden rage. They're mad. The kingdoms are moved. He's coming to what? The kingdoms of this earth have become the kingdoms of our Lord and his Mashiach. Revelation 11, 15. He's coming to take back his kingdom by force. With wrath and destruction. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. He's coming to what? Bring wreak havoc on this earth. Pay attention. The Lord of hosts is with us. The Mosai is with us, the Israelites. Pay attention. The ancient peoples of the Mosai. He's with us. Pay attention. I am waking up my ancients. Pay attention. The Lord of hosts is with us. Pay attention. You have to return and repent and confess and forsake his sins and return to the laws of the Mosai God. He say what? The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. The God of who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Pay attention. Because as a prince, thou hast power with God. We are the princes of the Most High God. We are his royalty. We are his people. Pay attention. We are the ancients. He said, I never break my covenant with you. I'm just punishing you all. I discontinue or disinheriting, disinheriting you. Disinherit you all or discontinue from your heritage or nationality or identity for transgression, for sin, for violation, and I'm breathing a better life into you now to come and take back the kingdoms from the heathen nations. Pay attention. To give it back to you, glory and power. Pay attention. The Lord of hosts is with us. The Mosai, the God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah, come and behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he had made in the earth. What, what? Destruction and mayhem and mayhem and death. He's coming into to, to making the earth. Pay attention. He maketh wars to cease until the end of the earth. I come to shut down all war on this earth. Pay attention. Because I'm coming to bring the big boom. <laughs> the most I say, I'm bringing what? The big boom. I'm making what? Wars to cease until the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow because I'm coming and 
uh, purges king of uh, sin and death and mayhem. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in asunder. He burned the chariot in the fire. He's coming to decimate these heathen nations. They were mad. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of the Lord. He's coming to decimate the armies and the weaponry. Pay attention. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be what? Raised up among the heathen that no law and order is coming back to this earth. Pay attention. I have to come and purge it. Pay attention. I will be exalted among the heathen and I will be, I will be exalted in the earth. Where? In this earth. I am coming to take back this realm from Satan. Pay attention. It's on loan to him to punish you brothers and sisters, the Israelites, who in the midst of transgression, who have violated your laws, who have violated the Lord, the laws of the Most High God. Pay attention. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The Most High is coming to be what? With us. Pay attention. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Sila. He's what? He's coming to what? Our refuge. In him we will trust. Go to Psalm 91. When he say he's our refuge, go to Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. If you keep them, Lord, such as commandments, testimonies, precepts, ordinances, in other words, if you repent, confess, and forsake your sins, as you learn a sin, just first for, confess it, forsake it. As you remember a sin, something that they've done, as you remember it, pray to the Most High in secret, nobody business, pray to Him in secret, He say in the closet, go and pray, meaning what? That's between you and Him. Your mouth tastes this. He said, all that you remember from me, you're born, come back, come back. As you remember it, confess it, forsake it. Pay attention, apply the law. Don't do it no more. Pay attention, apply the law. Don't do it no more. That's how we abide it under the shadow of the mighty. He's going to protect you. Pay attention. I will say of the Lord, He's my refuge. When you confess and forsake your sins and return to His laws, He is going to be your refuge after that. Pay attention. And my fortress, that's going to be what? Your fortress or your protection or your rock. The most high. Pay attention. My God, in Him will I trust. I will keep the laws. Pay attention. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler. Traps. Pay attention. And from the noisome pestilence, the destruction and the mayhem I'm about to bring. Pay attention. He's going to what? Protect you from the noise of the fowler, the snare of the fowler, the traps, and the noisome pestilence. The what? The noisome pestilence. Psalms 46 and verse 8. Come, behold the works of the Lord, what desolations He had made in the earth. The what? The desolation of the noise and pestilence. Pay attention. Go back to Psalm 91 and verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth, the laws, shall be thy shield and thy buckler. By you keeping the laws, that is commandments and judgment, he will protect you. That's going to be a shield from the destruction or desolation or mayhem he's about to bring on his earth. That's who's going to escape. Pay attention. Thou shall not be afraid. For the terror by night. He's about to do what? Terrorize this earth. Pay attention. Nor for the arrow that flies by day. He's about to bring mayhem on the earth. Destroy this earth. Pay attention. Purge it and destroy it. Pay attention to re-establish re re law and order. Nor for the arrow that flies by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. And when he's sleeping, death and mayhem coming. Pay attention. 24 hours destruction. Pay attention. You're having terror by night, this arrow flying by day, pestilence by, by in darkness. Pay attention. Nor for the destruction that we set at noonday. 24 hour mayhem, the most high coming to judge, judge this earth. Pay attention. Continuous destruction. Pay attention. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. The man or the Israelite brothers, sisters, that keep in that law, what? A thousand will fall at your side. And what? 10,000 at the right side, right side, men dying left, right, and center. Pay attention. 1,000 drop at the left, 10,000 drop at the right. Pay attention, but what? But it shall not come nigh thee. You walking through that destruction. Why? Because you're keeping the laws, that is commandment, German testimonies, and precepts on the most side. Sincerely, pay attention. You repent and confess and forsake your sins. That's when he could be your shield and your buckler or your protection. Pay attention. Or your fortress or your rock. Only with thine eyes. Shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked? You will physically see them dying. The reward of who? The wicked. Psalm 145, 20. You say what? All the wicked shall he destroy. Pay attention. All who refuse to keep the laws, the heathen going to get destroyed. And the wicked of your brethren, you Israelite as well as brothers and sisters, that refuse to repent, that refuse to humble and get off your pride horse, refuse to submit and subject yourself to the Most High. You say what? We are going to see the ones who keep in the laws, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked who refuse to keep them, who refuse to humble them. You are going to see the destruction. Pay attention. That's what Isaiah 66, 24 is talking about. And they shall go forth and see the carcasses of the men that transgress against me. 
for the womb shall not die. Be tormented in the pit of fire, or the lake of fire, or the pit of torment, or hell. The pit of hell. Pay attention. Not talking about this, this hell, this realm. It's talking about the next hell, the second death. The fire that will be tormenting. Tormenting you, and you'll be feeling it. Pay attention. Feeling the pain. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. We have come under the laws of the Most High God. That's how we're going to make it dwelling, dwelling with Him. Pay attention. You dwell in the commandments. You absorb, you absorb in the laws and statutes and commandments and precepts of the Most High for your own good. Pay attention. Our own good. There shall no evil befall thee. No, no what? No evil going to befall thee once you keep in the laws. Pay attention. Because the angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear Him. He's going to protect you. Come and keep my laws. Pay attention. Even the most side of habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come neither dwelling. Because he's plague, the most side is plague in the earth. You need to pay attention. No plague gonna come near your what? Dwelling. Be until you repent and keep in the laws. He's gonna the angel of the Lord will encamp around you and protect you. Pay attention. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. He's, he was gonna command the holy angels, the good angels, to go and protect him, protect her, protect that sibling, protect that you need to pay attention. Once you keep in the laws sincerely, pay attention, nothing guile and craftiness, pay attention and still willfully violating all laws. He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways to protect you in all corners. Pay attention from all the death and mayhem happening around you, you're being protected. Protected. They shall bear thee up in their hands. But they're going to what? Bear thee up in their hands. You're being protected. Let's thou dash thy foot against a stone because they, in case you what? When you say dash your foot against a stone, that no evil come upon you. They're going to what? Protect it. Okay, that's one. That's a brand pluck out of the fire. Protect him. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample on the feet. Satan, pay attention. The dragon is who? Satan, the devil himself. Pay attention. He will have no power over you then. Because the most I say, holy, just go protect him. Just as Raphael came, protect Tobias, strip back and front. Pay attention. Back and forth. Because he's what? A brand. He's a brand. Keep calling him brother, brother to it, brother to bias, brother to bias, brother to it. Pay attention. He knows who they are. Psalm 47, 1 to 9. Psalm 47, 1 to 9. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Because we're going to be examining what? The connection between angels, saints, elect. Pay attention. What is the connection? What is the relationship? Pay attention. According to the Bible. According to the Most High. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. We're dealing with who? The angels. Pay attention. For the Lord Most High is terrible. The Most High God is what? Terrible. I'm a terrible God. He is a great king over all the earth. Satan have the rulership, but it's my earth. Pay attention. I assign him rulership to punish Israelites for sin. For sin, for violation. He shall subdue the people under us. The Most High is coming to do what? Subdue this earth. All the hidden nations under who? The children of Israel. Pay attention. The children of Israel, the children of God, who return to him. Pay attention. He's coming to subdue the people under these heathen nations. And the nations under our feet. All these heathens are going into captivity. Pay attention. He that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Psalms 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Of who? The saints are patiently waiting for the, the retribution. Jeremiah 30, 16. All they that devour thee shall be devoured. Pay attention. All that devour the children of Israel, Israelites, of the children of Israel, conquered us, oppressed us, sold us in the chapter of slavery. Pay attention. That wronged us up, wronged us up. Pay attention. All, all who is who who, who complicit in the transatlantic slave trade, pay attention, will be held responsible or accountable. Pay attention. The sub-Saharan slave trade will be held accountable. Pay attention. All nations that oppress the children of Israel will be held accountable. They will pay. Pay attention. Because the Most is about to do what? A marvelous thing. Oh, clap your hands. All ye people, shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Psalm 47 and verse 1. Verse 2. For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. All these nations going into captivity. Pay attention. He shall choose our inheritance for us. He's going to what? Choose our inheritance. Pay attention. The excellency of Jacob, whom he loved, the children of Israel. Pay, pay attention. Silla, God is gone up with a shout. The Lord with the song of a trumpet. 
Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our King. Sing praises. For God is King of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. God reigneth over the heathen. Moses is coming to what? Take back his kingdom by force. Pay attention. Their rulership is about to end. Pay attention. The Moses it is culminating this earth. Pay attention. With signs and wonders. Pay attention. Plague after plague after plague. Pay attention what's happening around you. Pay attention. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people. What happened in Egypt? Plague after plague after plague. Ancient Egypt. Pay attention. What does he do now in modern Egypt? The modern diaspora. Pay attention. He's plaguing after plague and plague. He's plaguing his diaspora. Pay attention. The princes of the people are gathered together. Even the people of the God of Abraham. The what? He's gathering who? The princes of the people of the God of Abraham. Pay attention. He's gathering his elect, his saints, his angels. Pay attention. To bring you back to the angelic status. Pay attention. The princes of the people are gathered together. Even the people of the God of Abraham, the children of Israel. Brothers, you brothers and sisters, pay attention. Princes and princesses, pay attention. For the shields of the earth belong unto God. The what? The shields of the earth belong unto God. He is greatly exalted. Psalm 49 verse 1. Hear this, all ye people. Give ear, all the inhabitants of the world. All ye what? You inhabitants of the world. Both low and high, rich and poor, together. All of you inhabitants who inhabit in this earth. My mouth shall speak of wisdom. And the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline my ear to a parable. David say what? I will what? Incline my ear to what? A parable. Speaking parables, he said, I listen carefully when things are being read and when things are being said. I will open my dark saying upon the harp. My what? Parables and dark saying. This book is written in what? Dark sayings, parables, similitudes, metaphors, allegories. Pay attention. Riddles. Pay attention. It's only for the elect, the saints. Pay attention. Who are going to be turned back to? Angels. Pay attention. The most high God is coming for his people. Pay attention. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil? He said, What should I fear in the days of what? Evil. I ain't gonna fear. When the iniquity of my heels shall compass me about, he said, Why would I fear? Because I'm gonna keep them laws. They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of the riches, the who? The ones who trust in their the, pay attention. Earthly riches and wealth. What did the most I say about them? None of them can by any means redeem his brother. You cannot save your brother, your sister, your child, nobody. Pay attention. No give to God a ransom for him. You cannot pay the most high God. You cannot buy a way out of this destruction. Pay attention. And this mayhem. Only way is by presenting what? Your body's a living sacrifice. Romans 12 and 1. By what? Romans 12 and 2. Be not conformed to this world. But by what? Going after riches and riches and wealth. And violating God's laws. The lifestyles of this world. Sin. You say what? But be what? Transformed or changed by the renewing of your mind. <laughs> you're presenting your body as a living sacrifice. No money can buy you, buy, buy you out of the, the, the judgment of the Most High. Read that verse again. Psalm 49 and 7. None of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. You cannot pay God money. Pay attention. All the money you have, you cannot buy the debt. That's, <laughs> you're way out of debt. Pay attention. Or a death sentence. That is no bail. There's no bail when the Most High return. Pay attention. You can pay a bail on earth. But there's no bail when the Most High come. You see, your bail is what? Presenting the body's a living sacrifice. By what? Becoming holy. Changing your mind. Repenting and confessing, confessing and forsaking your sins. And being what? Transforming the renewing your mind in, by the application of God's laws. Pay attention. Purging your sins, in other words. Confess it. With the, with the tongue, confession is made unto salvation. You have to confess it to the Most High. Your, mouth, your lips says is, is made unto what? Salvation and the saving of your soul. By no rest. You can't pay. You can't pay money. The most ever destroy you and your money. You burn you and your money. Pay attention. For the redemption of their soul is precious. The what is the redemption or the redeeming of your soul? Pay attention. The salvation or the destruction of your soul. We all have to die and rot and go away. Pay attention. But your soul live on. To be judged in the last day. Pay attention. Whether you kept the law or whether you violated the law. No money is going to buy that. Pay attention. You have to what? For the redemption of their soul is precious and it ceaseth forever. You have to what? Present your body a living sacrifice for the salvation of your soul. Pay attention. And be not conformed to this world, the things of this world. But be transformed or changed by the renewing of your mind. And love not the world, neither the things of the world. If it, for all that is in the world is the lust of the eyes and the lust of the flesh. It's not of the Father, but it's of the world. It's of Satan. Pay attention. And the world passeth away. Pay attention. And the things therein. 
He's coming to burn it all up. That we saying. So you have to what? For the redemption of their soul, you have to let it go. Pay attention. It's precious. It's what? Precious. If it's precious to you, you will hear and you will do. Pay attention. And it ceased forever. That he should still live forever. That the, the ultimatum or the ultimate purpose or objective is to what? For you to live forever. Everlasting life. Eternal life as angels. Pay attention. Angels, saints, and the elect and the relationship. What is the relationship or the connection? Pay attention. You have to present your bodies a living sacrifice and be not conformed to this world, Romans 12, 1 and 2. But be it transformed or changed by the renewing of your mind to be what? That you should still live forever to get eternal life or back to angels or back to God. Pay attention. For everlasting life. And not see corruption. And not see what? Corruption, sin or destruction. So that they keep the law or evade the law. You see, none of the wicked can survive. Psalm 145 verse 20. Psalm 145 verse 20. The Lord's preserved all that love him. He's going to what? Preserve. They're going to live forever. But all the wicked will be destroyed. Back to um, Psalm 49 and verse 9. That he should still live forever. He's going to preserve you. And not see corruption. Not destroy you. Pay attention. For he said that wise men die. By what? Wise men die. Wise men of this world. Pay attention. Wisdom of this world is what? Foolishness with God. Pay attention. 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 5. 4. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit, uppercase S, the Holy Spirit, and of power of the Most High, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God, the wisdom of this world. Pay attention. You, you put in your, your wisdom, you're, you're basing your life on this, and these, these unlearned men teaching you, pay attention, false erroneous doctrines, pay attention, you're going to die. Go back to um, Psalms 49 and verse 9. That he should li still live, at, that he should still live forever and not see corruption. For he said that wise men die, likewise the fool and the brutish person perish and leave their wealth to others because they are not keeping the commandments. You didn't need any what? Your own earthly wisdom, wisdom of this world. You're going to die. Pay attention. Wise means with academia. Pay attention. Academi academically astute. Academically educated. Pay, pay attention. They're going to die. With what? The food is the same way. They, there's no distinction. Pay attention. Once you're not keeping the commandments of the Most High God, they're all going to die. And the brutish person perish. Once you're not keeping the commandments, they all get categorized the brutish, the fool, and the wise. Pay attention. So education don't mean nothing once you keep in, once you're violating the most high God laws. You see, you're breaking the law, you're gonna die. I don't care who you are, what you have, what the, what your credentials are. Pay attention, or your eloquent speech or your academia. Pay attention. You're gonna die once you're not keeping my commandments. And they leave their wealth to others. Somebody gonna take it. Verse 12. Nevertheless, man being in honor abided not. He's like the beast that perish. Man what? Not keeping the laws, they're gonna perish like a beast. Thus their way is their folly. Yet their posterity approve their sayings, Silla. Like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them, and the upright shall have dominion over them. The ones who keep in the law is going to have domination or dominion, dom dominion over you in the morning. And their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave. For he shall receive me, Silla. Be thou not afraid when one is made rich. When the glory of his, of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. You can't go nowhere with it. So you better what? Repent, confess, forsake your sins, and do good with the money you have. Pay attention. He said do good with it. Or when you certainly ain't carrying none with you. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. That well cannot go with you. Pay attention. It shall not what? Descend after him. Though while he lived, he blessed his soul. While he was alive, he lived it up. He what? He blessed his soul. Soul, I have much goods laid up for me. That's the parable in Luke. With the rich man who break down the barn and build a bigger barn. Because he had a bigger crop. Pay attention to the parable. He said what? Though while he would live, he blessed his soul because I have money and wealth. I live in it up. Pay attention. I live in it up. You're blessing his soul in this life. Pay attention. And men will praise thee. And what? Men bow down to him because he's rich. Pay attention. He make it. He's super rich. And everybody's submitting and bowing down to you. Pay attention. He said what? While he's alive, he blessed his soul, and men will praise him. Men bow down to him. Pay attention. When thou doest well to thyself, when you do good for yourself and you're prospering, 
Men will what? Submit and bow down. Pay attention. They honor in you for your wealth and for your achievements and your accomplishments. This is the Bible. Thus said the Lord, what is he saying? He shall go to the generation of his fathers. You're going to die. They shall never see the light. These men will what? Never see eternal life or the kingdom of heaven. Pay attention. The most I say what? He shall go to the generation of his, his fathers. You're going to die and go away as we all have to die and go away. But what? Something's going to happen to the soul. Pay attention. What is what's the outcome or ultimate outcome of, his, of his, his soul? He shall go to the generation of his father, die like everybody else. They shall never see light. These men will never see the kingdom of God. Pay attention. They shall never see everlasting life. Because they have been what? Blessed right here. Pay attention. This is their heaven. Pay attention. Man that is in honor. That way Job said, naked I come, naked I go. You need to pay attention. First Timothy, see what? First Timothy 6 and 5. Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, devoid of understanding the law. Supposing that gain is godliness. They're supposing that what? Earthly wealth is godliness. The accomplishment. From such withdraw thyself. You say what? Stay away from them. But godliness with contentment is great gain. Keeping them commandments is going to benefit you more. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain that we can carry nothing out. He says, no for surety, you ain't carrying nothing out. Pay attention. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. You're going to change. Pay attention. And into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Pay attention. You're going to get deceived. Pay attention. Which drown men in destruction and perdition. Pay attention. That money going to change you. Pay attention. And what? Drown you in what? Destruction and perdition. Oh, you're destined for destruction because you're going to change you. Pay attention. For the love of money is the root of evil. Not money. Never say money. Evil. But the love of it is the root the very core and fabric or fiber of all evil, which while some coveted after, because they're going to covet after it, pay attention, they have erred from the feet and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. You are what? Piercing yourself through, leading to death and destruction. But O thou man of God, flee these things. If you're a man of God, you're an elect, a saint, pay attention, you're going to flee the love of money, pay attention. And followed after righteousness, keep them commandments, Godliness, keep the commandments, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on eternal life. Ultimately, your objective is to lay hold on what? Eternal life. Get out of here. Pay attention. Out of hell. To make it out. Pay attention. Not get destroyed here. Pay attention. Not get destroyed or decimated here. Back to Psalm 49 and verse 19. I read verse 16 again. Be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. You see what? You get, you're getting rich. It is what it is. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. You see what? He ain't carry nothing to the grave, but what? His glory shall not descend with him. You cannot carry the wealth with him. Though while he lived, he blessed his soul. He lived in the life of pay attention. And men will praise thee. Men will bow down to thee and worship thee. When thou doest well to thyself, when you do well for yourself, pay attention. Pay attention. You make a name for yourself. You establish yourself. Men are going to bow down to you and submit to you. Pay attention. They're going to kiss your toes. They're going to do what they have to do. Pay attention. He shall go to the generation of his fathers. He's going to die like every other man. They shall never see light. These men shall never what? See eternal life or get salvation. Pay attention. Escape out of here. Hell. This is Satan realm. Man that is in honor and understand it not is like the beast that perish. You're in honor. You're held in high esteem. Pay attention by other men and you don't understand. You have to be keeping the commandments. You don't, you don't understand, naked they come, naked they go. Pay attention. You don't understand, you have to be charitable with that money you're making. Pay attention. You're going to what? It's like the beast that perish. You say what? Like you're living like a what? A beast that perish. Perish to become selfish, self-centered. Pay attention. It's all about me, myself, and I. There's a big, the man with the band, the parable. I will break down my band and build a bigger band. More money. Pay attention and say, soul, thou was much laid up for, 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 for thyself. Eat and be merry. You just say, thou fool, this night, that life is required and put it to death now. When you when you reach, they will just are taking you out. Pay attention. Man that is in honor and understanding not. You don't understand you have to be keeping the laws and the commandments. It's like the beast that perish that you refusing to repent and submit and humble yourself. Pay attention. Your your focus is elsewhere than God's commandments. They are like what? The beast that perish they like an animal that gets slaughtered. Pay attention. Pay attention. Go to Psalms fifty and one. Psalm fifty reading one down. To 23. 
the mighty God, even the Lord, had spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Because the angel, saints, elect, and the relationship. What is the correlation between angel, saints, and elect? Because we read in this throughout the Bible, throughout the scriptures. Pay attention. You keep hearing about saints, you keep hearing about elect, you keep hearing about angels. Pay attention. What is it? What is the most I say? Pay attention. What is hidden here? What is the, the deep riddle behind it? The mighty God, even the Lord, the Most High, had spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God had shined. Out of where? Zion. That's his, his, the holy hill of God. The holy hill of the Most High. Pay attention. That's the land of the Most High. Mount Zion. Pay attention. The most I call it the perfection of beauty, God of China. I'm the perfection of beauty. I'm the standard of beauty. So when I make you Israelites, brothers and sisters, with woolly nappy hair, pay attention. Curly, kinky nappy hair. And you're going and press it, you're going and perm it, you're going and perm, do, straighten it, do it, all kind of color, all kind of. You hate yourself, pay attention. The most I say, I made you in my image and likeness. Pay attention. The Genesis 1 and 29, 27 to 29. Let us go down and make man in what? In our image and likeness. Genesis 1 and 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. He created Adam like himself with nappy woolly hair. Pay attention. Am I making this up? Go to Daniel 7 and 9. Am I making this up? Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. And I beheld till the thrones were cast down. All who worship on this earth and the ancient of days is said. The most are himself. The kingdom of God. Pay attention. After the kingdom of Yahushua. Whose garment he have on a clothes was white as snow. When he come in here he have on what? A garment. He's wearing clothes and the hair of his head like the pure wool. He have what? Pure woolly hair. Curly, kinky, nappy hair as the hair on the head of a negro. Pay attention. It, according to the New Century Dictionary. According to the New Century Dictionary. Pay attention. You say what? The most I will say, I have woolly hair. Go back to Psalm 50. Why is that, why is that relevant? Go back to Psalm 50. And verse 2. Out of Zion. Pay attention, Mount Zion, the perfection of beauty. The what? Most like God say, I'm the perfection of beauty because I made you, Adam, and his progeny in the seed in my image and likeness. Perfect looking like me. Pay attention. So all you who want to change that altar, you hate yourself. The most I say, envy thou not the, not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Psalm 50 and verse 2. For out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God had shined. The most I say, I'm the perfection of beauty or the standard of beauty. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He's coming to burn this earth up. Pay attention. It shall be what? Very tempestuous. And a next level heat. He shall call to the heavens from above, and to the earth, that he may judge his people. He's coming to what? Judge his people. Who's the Lord's people? You children of Israel. Exodus 3 and 10. <laughs> Who's the Lord's people coming to judge? Exodus chapter 3 verse 10. Come now therefore, I will send thee unto Pharaoh. That thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Go to Matthew. Did it change in the New Testament? Matthew chapter 2 and verse 6. And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah? For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. My people is the same. The same children of Israel. Never change. That governor is what? Verse 1. Now when Yahushua was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? Because he say what? Verse 6, For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Who is this governor? Because Yahushua is the king. Let's see if a governor is somebody different. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Yahushua Mashiach, he, the king of the Jews, Matthew 2 and 6. Matthew 2 and 2. Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For unto us a child is born, Yahushua. Unto us a son is given. And the government, the who? The government. He's the governor. The rulership shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, Yahushua Mashiach. He's the Prince of Peace or the governor. The king of the Jews have been born. Back to Psalm 51 and verse 3. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. He's coming to judge Israel. First Peter 4 and 17. He's coming to judge who? Israel. First Peter 4 and 17. For the time has come that judgment 
must begin at the house of God. Pay attention. He's coming to judge us first. Pay attention. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? He's coming to judge what the church of God. He's coming to judge. Just judge first. And who don't obey? If the righteous scarcely be saved, the ones who keep in the commandments, pay attention. You have to keep the laws and statutes. You have to be in sincerely. Pay attention. All the way in. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Death and destruction. Pay attention. Go back to Psalm 50 and verse 3. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. He's not going to what? Hold not thy peace. The Buddha would David say, keep, keep not silence, O oh God. Hold not thy peace. Go to Psalms 83. Psalms 83. Keep not thou silence, O, o God. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For though thine enemies make a tumult, an angry gathering, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. These hidden nations have what? Taken crafty counsel, con counsel, United Nations, pay attention. They have taken what? Crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance of. Cut us off from our, our nationality or identity. Sold us in the transatlantic slave trade and discontinue us from our names. Give us slave names. Slave master names, pay attention. Colonizers' names, cut us off from the Mosai. They will say, hold not your peace against them. Bring the judgment. Bring the judgment. Go back to Psalm 50, verse, verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The Mosai say, gather what? His saints. His saints. Those that have made a covenant with him by sacrifice. Who is his people? He's coming to judge his people, according to verse 4. And the Lord shall what? Judge his people, which we just went and showed us who? The children of Israel, according to Exodus 3 and 10, and Psalms 2 and verse 6. My people Israel, they are still my people. Who are my saints? My people Israel, of my people. Gather my saints together unto me, from the Israelites, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Who made a covenant with the Mosai by animal sacrifice? The children of Israel. He said what? Gather them my saints. They are my saints. So the ones who made a covenant, but you have to what? Keep the covenant. Pay attention. If you violate the covenant, he said, all the wicked will he what? Destroy. First Peter 4 and 17. Judgment must first begin at the house of God. And if the righteous scarcely be saved. The righteous is who? Keeping the commandments. Those who are keeping the commandments. Luke 1 and 6. What does it mean to be righteous? Luke chapter 1 and verse 6. Read verse 5. There was in the days of Herod the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias, which is Zechariah, of the course of Abia. And his wife was of the daughters of Aaron. She was a Levite. And her name was Elizabeth. She was Levite. And they were both righteous. They were what? Both. Zachariah and his wife, Elizabeth, righteous before God, walking in all his commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. They were keeping the laws of the Most High God wholeheartedly and conscientiously and sincerely. Striving sincerely and honestly. Pay attention. Not in guile and craftiness. Pay attention. Back to Psalm 50 verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, you have to be the one who made a covenant with the Mosai. So you have to be what? Keeping the Mosai command. You have to keep your covenant. Keep the part of your covenant. Pay attention. To be among the saints. Pay attention. The people that made the, who have the Avana animal sacrifice covenant, the, the Israelites, the ancients of the Mosai God. Pay attention. He said, Them is what I'm coming for. We are still here. Pay attention. The teacher of the but the Israelites have done away with. We are the new witnesses, these false, false uh, witnesses. These false witnesses say, we are the new witnesses, all people. Pay attention. The Israelites are done away with. We are what? New Israel and all this kind of garbage they're teaching you. Pay attention, knocking it down, teaching you garbage. The most I say what? I make the, the people that I made the animal sacrifice covenant with, with are who I come to gather. They are my saints. Pay attention. They are my people. Pay attention. Still my people. And the heaven shall declare his righteousness. The heavenly host declaring what? The righteousness of the Mosai. For God is judge himself. Sila, the Mosai God is what? I'm coming to judge. Hear, O my people. Who? My people. Who's his people? Exodus 3 and 10. What? Let my people go. The Israelites. Go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. The children of Israel go. Pay attention. He said, what? Hear, who? who? My people. And I will speak. O Israel. Who is the Lord's people? The Israelites. The ancients are still here. Pay attention. We have been disinherited and discontinued from our nationality and we are breathing the breath of life back in us. The Holy Spirit is breathing back into us. The Spirit of the Most High. Pay attention. And bringing us back to spiritual consciousness or enlightenment. 
to record the word is earth again. Pay attention. To rule this earth again. Pay attention. He's coming to subdue the people under us. Pay attention. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against thee. The most I say will what? Testify against you for violation of sin or violating a covenant. Pay attention. And I will testify against thee. I am God, even thy God. I am your God. That's why I punish our behind. That's why we hear scattered in the diaspora. Because the most I go, he testified against us for all violation of the covenant. He broke the covenant. Pay attention. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor he goats out of thy fold. Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the most I. The most I say what? I want you to what? Offer your vows unto me. Pray, pray. Pray to me and repent and confess and forsake his sins. And pay thy vows unto the Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Keep my laws, statutes, and commandments, and testimonies, and precepts, and my laws and ordinances, and pray to me, and call upon me, and I will come. That's what the Most High say. Call me, and I will come. But unto the wicked, the ones who what? Of who? The children of Israel, O my people Israel, on the wicked, on the ones of you who don't want to. Offer unto me thanksgiving, or who don't want to call upon me in the day of trouble, or who don't want to keep my covenant, but unto the wicked of the children of Israel. Pay attention. God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Pay attention. Who refusing to keep his commandments, laws, statutes, and keep the covenant? Who is he talking to? The children of Israel, my saints. Pay attention. Here, O my people Israel, you I'm speaking to. But unto the wicked of you who don't want to keep them commandments, what hast thou to do to, decla to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Pay attention. All the teaching, false doctrines, the heathen, the wicked, or the earth, pay attention. And your brethren, whose teaching, false doctrines, false erroneous teachings and, 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 and gospels. Pay attention. He say what? What have you to declare my statutes? Because the most I say, I always send a man of God to go and wake the nation up. Go and teach them. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. Seeing that thou hatest instruction, and casted my words behind thee. He said what? Seeing that you hate instruction. Who? The children of Israel who are given my laws. You don't want to be instructed. You're violating the covenant. But you're going to teach. That's what the most I says. Seeing thou hatest instruction, and casted my words behind thee. You violate my law. Because why? Verse 8. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices, or thy burnt offering, to have been continually before me. Hear, O my people Israel, and I will speak, O Israel. And I will testify against thee. Against who? You Israelite brothers and sisters. I am God, even thy God. I am testifying against who? You Israelite brothers and sisters are not keeping my covenant. Pay attention. But on verse 16, but unto the wicked who are not keeping my covenant, I testify against you. Pay attention. Of Israel, pay attention. What has thou to do to declare my statutes? Seeing that you what? Seeing that thou hatest instruction and what? And casted my words behind thee. You don't want to keep my laws. You don't want to keep the covenant. Pay attention. I will testify against you. Thus said the Lord, according to verse 7. When thou sawest a thief, thou consentest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers, they are turning a blind eye to sin and transgression. Pay attention. Not rebuking, reproving, and correcting your brother. Pay, pay attention. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. You're teaching deceitful and deceptive crafty doctrines. Pay attention. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. You what they are what? Slandering the own brother, the own fellow Israelite, the own brethren, brothers and sisters. Pay attention. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Who is he talking to? The children of Israel. Hear, O my people, Israel, I am thy God. I will testify against you. Pay attention. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such a one as thyself. But I will reprove thee. I will do what? Reprove or correct. Who can be corrected or reproved? The children of God that have a covenant with him that break in his covenant. The he never has the Most High covenant. They never has his laws. The Most High said, never give them my laws. Psalm 147 verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgment unto Israel. I gave my laws and my statutes to the children of Israel. Pay attention. The sons of Jacob. He had not dealt so with any nation. I never gave nobody outside the children of Israel, the ancient Israelites, my covenant and my statutes and judgment. He had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. I can't judge them according to my law because I never gave them my law. Their, their, their judgment is just destruction because they were given this realm to punish you. I never gave them my law. Pay attention. I'm committed to destroy them. They've done their purpose. I'm committed to destroy them. 
But who? Who are going to have? Who are to reprove? The ones that I showed my words and my judgment to Jacob, the children of Israel. Pay attention. Go back to Psalm 50 and verse 21. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Violated your brothers and sisters. Pay attention. Teaching erroneous doctrine. Deceptive, deceitful, deceitful doctrines. Respect a person. The most I said. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. I was watching you, but because I'm merciful and long-suffering, waiting for you, each one of you to repent. Pay attention. Thou thoughtest I was altogether such a one as thyself. Pay attention. They equating themselves to the Mosai God. Pay attention. They're thinking you're smarter, more clever, more cunning than the Mosai. Pay attention. But I will reprove thee. The Mosai say, I will what? Reprove thee. Go back to verse 7. Hear my people Israel, and I will speak. Hear, O my people. Verse 7. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will testify against thee. I am God, even thy God. You see what? I am God. I will testify against you. Jump to verse 21. But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. The ones who you oppressing and character assassinating. Pay attention. You see what? And speaking what? Slandering. Thou sittest and speaketh against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Your fellow Israelites. They slandering and speaking against. Pay attention. And character assassinating. He said what? I will reprove you. You who doing it. And set them in order before thine eyes. The ones who you, you, you character assassinating and slandering. Pay attention. The most I say, what? I will set them in order. Give them everlasting life, eternal life. Saints, elect, pay attention. Back to angels, pay attention. And reprove you and set them in order before thine eyes. Right in front of you, pay attention. Now consider this. That, 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 now consider this. Ye that forget God. That what? Who could forget God? The children of Israel that have made a covenant with by sacrifice. Pay attention. You've forgotten, broken the covenant, the everlasting covenant, and gone in the midst of sin. You forget me, you forget my laws. Who is he talking to? The children of Israel that forgot his laws, who were in the midst of sin, willful sin. Now consider this, ye that forget God, the heathen cannot forget God, he was never their God. Psalms 147 verse 19, 20, we just read it. Let's go to Psalms 147, 19 and 20 again. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. I am not judging the nation based on my statutes and commandments, because I never gave it to them. Amos 3 and 1. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Pay attention. Can two walk together except they be agreed? We have to be in agreement. You keep in the covenant, keep in the laws, keep in the statutes and the precepts, then we can walk together. If not, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Pay attention. Making this Psalm 50 and telling you, it's a heathen. Everything is a heathen in this book. Pay attention. For these unlearned false prophets, false teachers. Pay attention. Everything is a heathen. Psalm 50 talking about the heathen. Pay attention. Pay, these men are unlearned. They're not sent from the most high God. Go to Psalm 50 and verse 22. Now consider this, ye that forget God, who violated my laws, willful sinners, pay attention, and leaning on the only wisdom, earthly wisdom and smarts, and cunning and craftiness, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. The most I say, what? I will tear you in pieces. I come in to judge you. I will punish you for your iniquity. Pay attention. That's um, the most and one too. Whoso offereth praise, glorifieth me. And to him that ordereth his conversation aright, who what? Come back in my laws. What does it mean ordering your conversation aright? Get your mind right. Keep my laws. Repent, confess, and forsake your sins. Come back under the umbrella of my protection. Under my, the bond of the covenant. Pay attention that I made with your forefathers. He that ordereth his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. You will be saved. You have to get your mind right and get in alignment with the Most High God. Realign your ways from the ways of the world. Into the way, the law, in a lawful mind, state of mind. Pay attention. In alignment with God, God's laws, I'm going to show you my salvation. That's how you're going to get the kingdom. How you're going to get life. Pay attention. That's how you're going to get everlasting life. Psalm 51, 1-17. Psalm 51, 1-7. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercy. So this is continuation. It's a continual psalm. It's a letter continuing. He said, what? I will show the salvation of God to those that order it, their conversation aright. So, they were saying, what? Have mercy upon me, O God. So, I'm trying to what? 
order my conversation aright to get salvation. Not to get the reproof of the Most High God. Pay attention. I want to be set in order. I want to not be rebuked, but I want to be set in order. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot up my transgressions. David say what? I confess and forsake my sins. Don't remember them no more. Pay attention. Blot them out. Forget them, Lord. Watch me truly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. If any man be in Mashiach, he's a what? New creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. 2 Corinthians 5.17 David say what? Watch me from my sin. Remember them no more. Pay attention. All things are passed away. What I've done in the past, I've done with Bathsheba. What I've done, forget them, forget them because I repent and I confess. Pay attention. Cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression. What I did to, to Bathsheba. Pay attention. And Uriah, you say what? Forget, forgive me. And my sin is ever before me. I confess and forsake it. When Nathan say, you the man, he did what? Sakrot and he drop down and repent. Pay attention. And the most I take judging by taking, killing the child. Pay attention. But what? The most I say what? I didn't take his life. Because he repent. <laughs> he repent. For I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only have I sinned. And done this evil in thy sight. That thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. David say what? Your judgment is just. But I done the evil in your sight and I confess in it all. I bear my soul and begging for my life. The salvation of my soul. Pay attention. Behold, I was shaped in, in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. I was born in sin. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward part, the law, keeping the law sincerely. And in the hidden part, that thou shalt, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me from my sin and I shall be whiter than snow. Pure. When you say whiter than snow, means more purity. Spiritual purity. Pay attention. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, a clean mind, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Give me your Holy Spirit. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Because I had the spirit of Satan in me, but what I did to Uriah and, and Bathsheba. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, because I have a spirit of bondage on me, Satan. And I'm going to teach transgressors thy ways. And sinners shall be converted unto thee. Then you have to purify me, and I will teach them to repent. Pay attention, and convert them back to thee. As Yahushua came and say, follow me. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Pay attention. And they're going to be what? Converted back to them. To, they will come back to them laws. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, from the blood of Uriah, and all the, the death and mayhem I put on the earth. O God, thou God of thy salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of my, thy righteousness. All the death I kill, I will defend the nation. Pay attention, he said. Deliver me from blood guiltiness. Forgive me. O Lord, open down my lips, and my mouth shall show for thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice. Animal sacrifice. You don't want animal sacrifice. Else will I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The most I, David said, he understood this. The most I don't have no pleasure in animal sacrifice. He said, what? The most I don't want it. Else will I give it. The most I don't want it. This is what Testament. Yes, this is King David. He understood this. Thou desirest not sacrifice. No animal sacrifice. Else would I give it. I would have sacrificed and sacrificed and sacrificed. But he understands. The most I said, I don't want that. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The most I have no pleasure in this. This is Psalm 51. This is Old Testament. Pay attention. So what was he telling the Pharisees? They were wicked as self, sin, sacrifice, willful sin. David said, that's evil. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. The most I want you to what? Break your spirit from an evil spirit and get a what? A clean spirit or a right spirit according to verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, a clean mind, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Give me your Holy Spirit because I have the spirit of Satan. Verse 17, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. Present your body a what? Living sacrifice. Romans 12 and 1. By changing your mind. And be not conformed to this world. The things of this world. Loving the things of this world. Pay attention. And but be not conformed to this world. But be transformed or changed by the renewing of your mind. Or break a broken spirit. Sacrifice yourself by having a broken spirit. From doing what you want to do. What you think is, is best. Doing your own will. Pay attention. And doing God's will. Humbling. Come back to the Lord's statutes, commandments, judgment, testimonies, and precepts and ordinances of the Most High God to get salvation or get delivered from here. Pay attention, otherwise you will burn right here. This, you, the, pay attention, if you're alive physically, you're going to burn. And then the second death is a judgment at the, at the whole earth. Pay attention. 
when every every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, every one of us die centuries ago, die whenever, die now, die tomorrow. Your soul live on for the judgment, till the final judgment. Everyone will be judged. Pay attention. And you will be aware of it. You will be brought back. Let me say, keep saying, I will, and the dead shall rise. I will, everybody get in church. And the world will see. Every being on this earth will be seeing and hearing. Pay attention. The sacrifices of God, this way better repent and confess right here now. <laughs> so the most I say, and don't embarrass you in the last days. Pay attention of what you've done and what you do and you don't want to confess. Confess it to him now, he says. Pay attention. So I go blot it out. I don't bring it out in judgment. Pay attention. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. Mine, O God, thou will not despise. Once he repent and return to him sincerely or conscientiously. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Unto who? The children of Israel. Build out the walls of Jerusalem. Re-establish our kingdom. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness. What? With sacrifices of righteousness. Once in the midst of sin, I don't want no sacrifice from the children of Israel. Pay attention. We see what? I don't want no sacrifices in sin, the midst of wickedness. Psalms 148 verse 40. Psalms 148 verse 40. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints. He exalted who? The, his saints. Even of the children of Israel. Who is the Lord's saints? The children of Israel. A people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. The saints is who? The children of Israel. The angels are who? The children of Israel. What did um, Azariah say? Angel Raphael, the archangel. I am one of you, um, Tobias. I'm your brethren, Tobias. I'm your brethren, Tobit. I am an Israelite like you. Pay attention. So who are the saints now? The children of Israel. Just pay attention. The angels say, I am your brethren. Go to Revelation 20, 22. Go to Revelation 22 and verse 8. And I, John the Revelator, saw these things which the angel was revealing to him and heard them. And when I heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. The angel was revealing the mysteries that Yahushua sent to, to John the Revelator. He said, I went bow down to worship the angel. Then said he unto me, See thou, do it not. The angel said to John the Revelator, Don't bow down and worship me. Don't do that. For I am, I the angel, and am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets. The angel said, John, I am an Israelite like you. I am a prophet like you. Pay attention. I repeat that again. I the angel, am thy fellow servant. I am here to serve you. And of thy brethren, of thy what? Brethren, I'm an Israelite. The prophets, I'm an Israelite like you. Pay attention. Who, who are these angels? They are the children of God. Pay attention. Who are the Israelites? The children of God. The fellow prophets, fellow angels. Pay attention. We fall and sunk into hell for violation of, of the covenant, breaking the covenant. So who are the saints? Psalms 148, 14 again. He exalted the horn of his people, the Israelites, the praise of all his saints. Even, even what? Even means what? Exclusively of the children of Israel. Particularly or appertaining to the children of Israel. They are my saints. A people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. They are what? That's why he says, Jump to Psalm 147, 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. I never deal with no other heathen nation. Because they are who? The Israelites, the children of Jacob, the seed of Jacob, are a people near unto me. They are my saints. Pay attention. To keep the covenant. Keep the covenant. Pay attention. Genesis 32, 24 to 30. Genesis 32, verse 24 to 30. Because the angel turns on the revelator, I am one of you. I am your fellow servant and brethren, the prophets. As um, angel Raphael tells Tobias and Tobit, I am your brethren. I am one of you. I am a prophet. If one of you, one of you. My name is Azarias. I was Azarias on the earth. Jump to Genesis 32 and read verse 24. I read in 24 to 30. And Jacob was left alone, and there rested a man with him until the breaking of the day. So Jacob was wrestling with a man. Who's this man? And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. So the, 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 he was wrestling with the angel, and the angel couldn't get away from him. And he, he just dislocated his thigh. And his thigh was, and Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go. The angel said, let me go. For the day break it. I need to go. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. He said, I will not let thee go till you give me a blessing. And he said unto him, the angel said, it, said unto Jacob, What is thy name? He said, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name, the angel said, Thy name shall be no more called Jacob, but Israel. This is the blessing. 
Don't call the name Jacob no more, but you what? Use Israel from here for henceforth. Why? For as a prince has the power with God, you are a prince of God. Pay attention. You are an heir of God, or oh, my brethren. Pay attention. You have power with God and with men and has prevailed. You have what? Power with God and with men. Who is the men? Your brethren, your fellow servants, the prophets. Pay attention. They are princes like you. They have power. They have power. The Israelites, the saints, the angels, the elect have power the same way. With You need to pay attention. With the Most High God because we are princes of the Most High God. The attention that he sends his angels. Go get them. Go get his siblings. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. What is your name? And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him. The angel blessed him. He said, What do you want to know my name for? And he blessed him. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. He said, I saw who? God. Who was, it? Who was there with him? Yahushua. Pay attention. I have seen God. This is with an uppercase G and a lowercase O D. Yahushua Hamashiach. He said, What? I have seen God face to face. Yahushua. And my life is preserved. Yahushua is wrestling with his brother. Pay attention. He said, You're a prince. You're a prince. A prince like me. Pay attention. Because I'm the son of God. <laughs> You're a prince like me. But I'm the ruler, the governor, and chief commander. Pay attention. We're going to touch now the elect. We touch who the angels are. We touch who the saints are. They're the same, one and the same. Go to, Psalm, go to Isaiah 44 and 1. They are one and the same. The princes of the Most High God. Pay attention. Isaiah 44 and 1 to 8. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. I have chosen who? The Israelites. Because Jacob's name was changed to Israel. And a prince he had power with God. And they are what? Also the chosen. Definition of the word elect, the definition of the word elect in the Merriam Webster's dictionary is chosen. Pay, pay attention. A special people or peculiar people or set apart people. Pay attention. Or chosen. Thus, who is the, the children of Israel? Thus said the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon, the, upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed. The most I say is pouring his Holy Spirit upon the seed of Jacob or Israel, his progeny. As we are on today. Pay attention. The royal priesthood, the prince, the princes of God, the elect of God, the saints of God, the angels. Pay attention. They all say the same thing. We are your brethren, the Israelites. We are that's who we are, that's who we're coming for. Why is the most I coming to destroy this earth? <laughs> Why is Yahushua coming? Pay attention to decimate this earth to get one particular people. Why? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee, or elected thee. Definition of elect is chosen. Chosen elect. To be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Because as prince, you have a power with God. We are princes of God. We have power, joint, shared, shared power and authority and rulership. Want to keep my covenant. That's why the most I said, give you the covenant. I see short his word unto Jacob. He started unto, unto Israel. He had not dealt with any other nation. Because you are above them. You are special. You need to pay attention on all people taking it hard. Hard to keep them laws and statutes and commandments. Scorning the most I God laws and <laughs> statutes and commandments. And the most I said, give it to rule them. To govern them and dominate them. Pay attention. And you love and sin, you love and violating what the most I God laws are going to put you behind the death if you don't come back to it. You need to pay attention. The most I see you are special unto himself above all people that are upon the face of them with all these hidden nations. You are above them, special to the most high, because you are his royals, you are his princes, you are his elect, you are his chosen, you are his saints. Pay attention. Back to Isaiah 44 and verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, the turn of Israel. And my blessing upon thine offspring. The most I say blessing who? The offspring or the seed of the Jacob. Which is the children of Israel. Israelites. The ancients that exist unto this day. We are still here. Pay attention. This disconnected from our God. Being what? Replugged in. Pay attention. Replugged in back to the most I God. Reconnected to our God. And they shall spring up as among the grass. We are what? Springing up as among the grass. Popping up here and there everywhere. Pay attention. Because the Most I say, I am putting the blessing upon their seed and their offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Lord. They shall say what? We are the children of Israel. Pay attention. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. We are the seed of Jacob. Pay attention. 
and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, and surname himself by the name of Israel. We are the Israelites, the Bible speak of. We are the children of Jacob. We are the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Israelites that the Bible speak of. We are the princes of God. Pay attention. And the most I say, I will what? Prop them up. They shall spring up as among the grass. We are popping up here, there, and everywhere, all over the four corners of the earth. The most I say, what? Because I am. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. The most I is what? Awakening. Awakening these people. Pay attention. Breathing the breath of life into us, the Holy Spirit. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel. He is what? The most I say, I am the King over Israel, the Israelites. And his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. Pay attention. Me and my son. I am the first and I am the last. I am who? The beginning and the end. And besides me, there is no God. Father and Son. Yahushua, the Lord of hosts of the, the, the army. And who? As I shall call and shall declare it. And set it in order for me. Since I appointed the ancient people. The most I say what? They shall set it in order and declare it since I appointed the ancient people. The ancient Israelites are still God's people. Nothing changed. Pay attention, spiritual Israel. I heard it all. Pay attention from these wickednesses. <laughs> I heard it all. Spiritual Israel. There's no such thing. The spiritual Israel or spiritual Israelite is one who keeps the commandments of the Most High God. Pay attention. To become much spiritually enlightened. The ancients, the most I say, I'm coming for them, the, the people from the beginning. And I appointed the ancient people, and the things that are coming, and shall come. Let them show unto them. Pay attention. Fear not, so fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time, and have declared it? Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yea, there is no God, I know not any. The most I say, what? The ancient people, the children of Israel, the Israelites, are his witnesses. Pay attention. Pay attention. These false witnesses on the earth are going to knock you down teaching you garbage. Pay attention. They are agents of Satan working for the devil. The most I say what? You Israelites, my what? The inch, I, I appoint the ancient people. They are going to be what? My witnesses. This is Isaiah 44 and verse 8. They are my witnesses. Pay attention. That's why we hear what? Witnessing for the most I confessing his name. Testifying his glory, pay attention, glorifying his kingdom and his dominion and his destruction and his power that he's about to bring on the earth. Pay attention. You are witnessing for the Lord. Pay attention. Isaiah 41, 1 to 7. Isaiah 41, read 1 to 17. Isaiah 41 and 1 to 17. Keep silence before me, O islands. The islands, what? Keep silence. The most I say, shh. And let the people renew their strength. Let them come near. Let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment. Who raised up the righteous man from the east, called him to his foot, gave the nations before him, and made him rule over kings. Who did it? He gave them as dust to his sword, and as driven stubble to his bow. He pursued them, and passed safely, even by the way that he had not gone with his feet. Who had wrought and done it? Calling the generations from the beginning. Calling the who? The generations from the beginning. The ancients. The ancient people. Pay attention. I the Lord, the first and the last. I was the beginning and the end. I am he. The isles saw it and feared. The ends of the earth were afraid. Drew near and came. They helped everyone his neighbor. And everyone said to his brother, Be of good courage. So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith. And he that smoothed it with the hammer. Him that smote the anvil. Saying, it is ready for the soldering. And he fastened it with nails, that it should not be moved. But thou Israel art my servant. The most I say, you children of Jacob, art my servant. Because according to Exodus 32, 28, 28 Exodus 32, 28, Yahushua say, Jacob, your name shall be no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince that was power with God. You're an angel, you're an elect, you're the same. Pay attention, you're the chosen. Pay attention. You're the ones who are going to keep the covenant. The ones who are going to keep them covenant. But thou Israel art my servant. Jacob whom I have chosen. The seed of Abraham. My friend. Abraham is who? My friend. That's why I chose his seed. The lineage. The holy seed of Adam. Coming through lineage. Child of God. Pay attention. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. And called thee from the chief men thereof. And said unto thee. Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee. And not cast thee away. The most I say. I have not cast off my ancients. They are still here. I just disinherited them or disinherited or disconnected them from me. Pay attention. And now I'm being what? Reinheriting them 
but they have to come back to my covenant. They have to keep the covenant, keep the oath, keep the commandments to be re-inherited. Pay attention. As princes, if you don't keep the commandment, you can't come in my kingdom. Pay attention. I can't reward bad behavior. Pay attention. The most I say what? Fear not thou, for I am with thee. The most I say, I am with you, Israelites. Pay attention, you brothers and sisters, that repent and return to the law. The word, he say what? I have chosen thee and, and not cast thee away. I bring you back. Pay attention. Fear not thou, for I am with thee. Want to keep my commandments. Be not displayed. A thousand will fall at the side and ten thousand at the right side. But it shall not come nigh thee. The destruction. Because I am with thee. Pay attention. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. The most I say, you turn up Israel. The Israelites, the ancients. I am your God. Nothing ever changed. Exodus 3 and 10. Go on to Pharaoh and tell him, set, let my people go. Matthew 2 and 6. And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah. Who are the least of the princes of Judah. Go to Matthew 2 and 6. And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Nothing changed. The same ancient people. They are still, you are my people, the children of Israel. Pay attention. Back to Isaiah 41 and verse 10. Fear not, dog, you Israelites, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Nothing changed. I will strengthen thee. Nothing changed. Old Testament, New Testament, I am still your God, you Israelites, you ancient Israelites. Pay attention. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness because this, you are a special people to me. You are not the normal people. Pay attention. Behold, all they that will incense against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. All that hate you shall be what? Ashamed and confounded. All who bought and sold you shall be what? Ashamed and confounded. Pay attention. All who wronged you up and sold you shall be what? Ashamed and confounded. Pay attention. They that strive with thee shall perish. All who strove with us and still striving with us unto this day, they shall what? Perish. Death, mayhem, destruction awaits them. Pay attention. Judgment, captivity. Pay attention. They shall be as nothing. They shall be what? As nothing as though. The most I say, I just using the wicked of the earth to punish you. Their mind is not your mind. They have a, they have a one mind, one track mind. Destruction. Pay attention. Wealth, money, destruction. That's all. That's what they were built to do. They were constructed that way by the Mosai for that purpose. To punish. Pay attention. But they shall be what? As nothing. I come in to destroy them. Because I have not dealt with any other nation. I have not given my commandments to them. I don't know them. Pay attention. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and thou shalt not find them. Even them that contended with thee, all who contend with the children of Israel, the ancients, the ancient Israelites, pay attention, that exists unto this day, the seed, the holy seed of God, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, his progeny, all that contended with them, they did what? Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them. Because they, when you mean shall not find them, they will disappear. Even them that contended with thee, because I come to decimate them. They that war against thee, shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. All who war against us shall be what? Dissipate. Pay attention. For I, the Lord, thy God, will hold thy right hand. The most I say, I'm coming and set up shop. Pay attention. I will what? Hold in the right hand because you are my sons. Pay attention. You need to pay attention, you Israelites, brothers and sisters. Saying unto thee, fear not, I will help thee. The most I say, don't fear them. But I will help you. You keep my commandments and judgments and testimonies and ordinances. And I will hold your hand. Pay attention. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, you Israelites, pay attention. I will help thee, said the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I will help you. Pay attention, me and my son, pay attention. Behold, I will make thee a sharp threshing instrument. I will make you what? I will make you Israelite a sharp threshing instrument. Pay attention to destroy, death and mayhem, to kill. That we say, I'm making you what? The weapons of my destruction. Pay attention. My battle axe and my weapons of war. That it, he said, I will make you what? A sharp threshing instrument. Having teeth, thou shalt thresh the mountains. The rulers, all ruling over you and dominating you. He said, thou shalt what? Thresh them. Once you return to my Lord, pay attention. And beat them small. And do what? Beat them small. I'm turning you into a weapon. That's Jeremiah 51 and 20. You are my battle axe and weapons of, of, my weapons of war. Jeremiah 51 verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. 
For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, these heathen nations that ruling over you, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. The Most High is using us to what? Decimate them, because we have returned to his laws. This is for a day. Pay attention. The Most High you will return to my laws, and I will give you what? Make you. I will, back to Isaiah 41 and 15. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, you all the ruling over it is hidden, and beat them small, all is hidden, and shall make the hills as chaff, because you will dart my battle axe and weapons of war. You will be my army when you repent and return to my laws sincerely. Nobody in craftiness or teaching deceptives, deceptive doctrines or lies and deceits, pay attention, or making merchandise of the brothers and sisters, pay attention, will be in my army, pay attention. Thou shalt find them. And the wind shall carry them away. Only the elect, the chosen, the saints, the, who turn back to what angels will be carrying out these, these, these destructions. Pay attention. Thou shalt find them, and the wind shall carry them away. And the whirlwind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none. And their tongue for, faileth for thirst. Their what? Tongue faileth for thirst. I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them, because we cry not unto our Lord right now for, for what? For thirst. What did the Luther brothers and sisters throughout all the cities of the earth right now? In poverty, poverty on a, a, a scale you never see. Pay attention. People sleeping on the street in tents, sleeping in parks. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. The most I say, when you cry out to me, they have, when their tongue faileth for thirst, they have nothing to drink. Pay attention. No food to eat. I, the Lord, will hear them. They will turn up my laws. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. Most I say, I breathe the breath of life into them. Isaiah 45, 1 to 4. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus. The Most I speak to who? Cyrus, the king over the Medo-Persian. He is what? My anointed, whose right hand I have holden. I use Cyrus, the, 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 the king of the Medo-Persian, to do what? To subdue nations before him. I have led Cyrus to what? Take out Babylon and rule and dominate this heathen on the earth. Pay attention. When I shifted the power from Babylon, the most I say what? I call them my anointed, to do my bidding. Whoever I used to do my bidding, that's my anointed. Pay attention. So when Jesus like return to my law, you take back your rightful place. Pay attention. To subdue nations before him, and I will loose the loins of the kings to open before him the two leaf gates, the gates to Babylon. Pay attention. That's the two leaf gates. When I read the history, the historical records of it, pay attention. I have it in, in, in several books. You read this, they, were, they left open, they had a, the, the pagan celebration and they forget to leave gates open. The most is the one that did it and the Medo-Persians come right in. Pay attention. And decimate them. Pay attention. And the gate shall not be shut because the most is the one that did it. Turn them, the spirit and them guards. Pay attention. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. Who was going before Cyrus? The most I said, I was leading him. Pay attention because why? I give him, I give, Cyrus has a purpose. Cyrus had a purpose. What was his purpose? We keep reading the chapter. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. I will give them all the, all the wealth of Babylon. That thou mayest know that I, the Lord which called thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Cyrus, you are the king over the Medo Persian, but you're gonna know that I am the God of who? The Israelites who was in captivity under Babylon. Pay attention. So what is he using Cyrus to do? Pay attention. To free the children of Israel. You need to pay attention. For Jacob, my servant's sake. The most I say, Israel is my people. I am their God. They are my, uh, they are my servants. And Israel, my elect. They are what? My elect. The Israelites are my elect. My ancient people are still my elect. Nothing changed. Pay attention. The angels are what? Israelites. The saints are what? Israelites. The elect are who? Israelites. Pay attention. I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me, the Israelites be gone astray, be gone in the midst of sin. But he said, I lead in Cyrus hand, Cyrus hand to come and take out Babylon. Pay attention. Because Babylon has you oppressed. Pay attention. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. The most I say, I am the ultimate power. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. He said, most I say, I anointed you, but you what? You gone, you forsake me and gone in the midst of sin. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west. That there is none beside me. I am the Lord. And there is none else. I form the light. I create darkness. I make peace. And create evil. I the Lord do all these things. The most I say. This is my creation. This is my creation. So fear who? Fear me. That's the most I say. 
Fear me. Drop down ye heavens from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open, and let them bring forth salvation, and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. The most I say, what? Destruction unto the man that striveth with his maker. Who, who fighting against me? Destruction for you. Who refusing to obey me? Destruction for you. I have made the earth and created man upon it. I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens, and all their hosts have I commanded. I have raised him up in righteousness, and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city. I who? I use Cyrus. Pay attention. He is what? Mine anointed. I will raise him up in righteousness. He shall build my city, and he shall let go my captives. Cyrus' purpose is to what? Go back and build the second city, uh, Jerusalem. Pay attention. Go back and build the, the temple. Pay attention. That's the order that Musa, Musa gave him. And let my, go my captives from under Babylon. From under Babylon captivity. Pay attention. His purpose, that's why he's my anointed. And I, I lead in his hands to take out Babylon. To take out your oppressors. Pay attention. I'm using oppressor to take out your oppressors. Pay attention. Not for price. No reward. The most I say is not about money. I, I'm not doing it for money. I'm not giving him no reward for doing it. But what? Said the Lord of hosts. He's doing as I commanded him. He's my anointed. I said him. Pay attention. Because I am with him. Pay attention. The Israelites are conquered. I use who I use. Thus said the Lord, the labor of Egypt and the merchandise of Ethiopia and of the Sabians, men of Statia, shall come over unto thee. All these hidden nations. Pay attention. Of who? Ethiopia. Of who? Egypt. You, you men keep talking about pay attention about Ethiopia. And you need to pay attention. The Moses has, has a hit list in his Bible. Pay attention. He has a hit list. The children of Israel are hidden among all these hidden nations. But... The most I say, they are all in my hit list. Pay attention. And of the Sabians, men of stature shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. They shall be what? Thine. You're going to rule them all. They shall come after thee in chains. In what? In chains. They shall come over. The most I say, all these nations, these nations will be conquered and oppressed. They're going into captivity. And they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely God is with thee, and there is none else, there is no God. The most I say, these hidden nations going into captivity and bowing down to the throne of Israel. Verily thou art a God that hidest thyself, thyself, O God of Israel, the Savior. They shall be ashamed and also confounded. All of them, they shall go to confusion together, that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded, World without end, they are going to be mine forever. The, 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 the angels, the saints, the elect, the Israelites, well, they are what? A world without end. Pay attention. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, seek ye me in vain. The most I say, I'm not telling you keep the commandments in vain. It's for your good, for your benefit to rule this earth. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. What I tell you, keep my commandments, it's right. It's good for you to dominate and rule these hidden nations and put them in captivity. In the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. Who keep in the laws, Romans 2 and 13, not the hearers of the law shall be just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. So all the seed of Israel that do in the law will be justified. Isaiah 65 and 9. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains. And mine elect shall inherit it. Mine who? The Israelites shall inherit it. And my servant shall dwell here. Back to the kingdom. Back to the kingdom. Only the elect of God will be getting in there. Go to Luke 18 and 7. Luke 18 and 7. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though he be along with them? The most I will what avenge us, who cry in what? For help. Matthew 24, 22 to 31. And except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Mashiach, or dear, believe it not. For there shall arise false Mashiachs and false prophets. And shall show great signs and wonders. Travels into the diaspora. Pay attention. Come passing sea and land. Sea and land. 
to proselytize. And when they do proselytize them, they make them twofold more, twofold more the child of hell than himself. Pay attention. Behold, I have told you that Matthew, Matthew chapter 23. Matthew 23 and verse 15. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you come past sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourself. Whoever traveling and traversing the diaspora and converting, they are making the, the, the children of Israel twofold more the child of hell than himself. Pay attention. Pay attention. Because they are shutting up the kingdom of heaven from men going in because they neither go in themselves. Verse 13. But we want to you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. You're preventing the Israelites from getting the kingdom. For you could be teaching them wrong false doctrines. For you neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in because you're teaching them erroneous doctrines. You're making them what? Twofold more the child of hell than yourself. Pay attention. The ones you're proselyting or converting. Back to Matthew 24 and verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, after we go through our hell, our hell in the or Sidonian, scattered through the four corners of the, of the earth in captivity, in a low estate, impoverished, pay attention, or tribulation period, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give a light, and the stars shall fall from the heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, Yahushua Mashiach. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Everyone will see him. And he shall send his angels with a great song of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. The purpose of Yahushua Mashiach coming with the holy angels, the heavenly host, is to gather God's elect. Pay attention. From the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other, where he's kept all behind <laughs> in the four corners of the earth. That we saying his purpose is coming. Gather who? The elect, which is what? The class is entitled Angels, Saints, Elect, and their relationship. What is the relationship? They are all Israelites. It's the the Mosa is using what? Different terminologies. Pay attention for the children of Israel. Who we are, we in a fallen state, so we must repent and return to the laws to be what? Part of the elect as the saints or back to angels or gods or get life everlasting or eternal life or immortality or everlasting life in the kingdom of God. Pay attention. Or to enter the kingdom of Yahushua Mashiach for him to deliver up the kingdom to the Most High God. Back as angels. Only we can get in the kingdom of God. Pay attention. Back. Surak 17 and 10. Surak 17 verse 10. Surak 17 and verse 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. Who will who will be praising the Most High? The elect. He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever, that they might declare his works with understanding. With what? Understanding because it's the Holy Spirit resting on you. Pay attention. That's why he's going to make you declare his works with understanding. Read Tobit 8 and 15 again. Tobit chapter 8 verse 15. Then Raguel praised God and said, O God, thou art worthy to be praised with all pure and holy praise. Therefore, let thy saints praise thee with all thy creatures, the creation, and let all thine angels and thine elect praise thee forever. So the angels, saints, elect, one and the same. Pay attention to the, 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 the chosen of God who repent and return to them laws and get back to the angelic status. Pay attention. Back to be saints, keeping the commandments. Back to be elect. Keeping the commandments. You can't be an elect and breaking the commandments. You can't be a saint and breaking the commandments. You can't be an angel breaking the commandments. Or a prince of that have power with the Most High. Breaking his commandments. John 6 and 37. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Yahushua was in red. All that the Most High give him will come to him. Will understand and will follow his teaching. And will do as he command them. And I will in no wise cast out. Pay attention. So if you don't do what you're being commanded, the laws and commandments, repent, return to them laws, you will be what? Cast out or decimated. You'll pass in the mayhem that he's about to bring. Down to verse 44. No man can come to me except the Father which had sent me draw him. No man will come and do what I'm commanding him to do. No man can keep these laws, commandments, and statutes, and testimonies, and precepts except the Most High draw him. Except the Most High draw him. Except the Most High draw him. 
And I will raise him up at the last day. I will give him everlasting life because he has obeyed my commandments. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught of God. Every man, therefore, that had heard and had learned of the Father, cometh unto me. If you hear the teaching and you want to process it, you're going to do. You're going to follow Yahushua Mashiach. You're going to repent, confess, and forsake his sins, and come back and keep God's laws. Pay attention. That's the only way you can follow him. And he said, verse 65, and he said, therefore, and he said, therefore said I unto you, this is the reason why I said unto you, that no man can come unto me except it were given him unto my father. For Yahushua knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Many was walking behind him, but they did not what? Believe. They were going for to be seen of men, for glory, vain glory. Pay attention. But they were not about keeping the most high God's laws. Matthew 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but only unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, of the whole house of Israel, you Israelites, brothers and sisters. I, am come, I came for the lost sheep, the elect of you all, the saints among you, the angels among you that have fallen, pay attention, to bring you back to your angelic status. That way the angel keeps saying, I'm your virgin, John. Raphael tell um, Tobias and Tobit, I'm your virgin, Tobias, I'm your brother. Pay attention. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep. No man can come unto me except the Father draw him, the elect, the children of God. Pay attention. The princes of God, the royal priesthood. John 10, 27. John 10, 27. What's the relationship between angels, saints, and the elect? John 10, 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Yahushua say what? My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. The elect, the saints, <laughs> will follow me to be what? Come back to angels. Pay attention. They will follow my instruction. That will say, follow me, and I will deliver you out of here. Bring you back into the heavenly realm. Back to your, your, back to your, your royal status. Back to your kingdom. Back to your, your, your palace. With the most high. What do you mean to follow him? First Kings chapter 9, 9 verse 6. First Kings 9 and verse 6. Follow me. Walk after me. But if you shall at all turn from following me, ye or your children, the Mosai says, and will not keep my commandments and my statutes, which I have set before you this day, but go and serve other gods and worship them. The Mosai say what? If following him means what? Walking after or keeping his commandments and his statutes, which I set before you. That's what he means to follow. When you say follow me, that's what he means. Keep God's commandments and his statutes. Pay attention. To get back to be angels, back to be your royal back to your royal status. John fifteen, read fourteen to twenty seven. John fifteen, read fourteen through twenty seven. Yeah, my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you, Yahushua words in red. You said you're my friend, if you do what I command you, follow me. Keep God's commandments and statutes. If you don't keep God's commandments and statutes, you are my enemies. You need to pay attention. I come in to put my enemies under under my footstool to subdue them. The angels come in to kill. Pay attention. Yahushua come in to kill. You are my friends. If you do whatsoever I command you. If you do what I command you. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 17. I love them that love me. And those that seek me early shall find me. This is Yahushua. He said what? I love them that love me. Is it Yahushua speaking in Proverbs? Let's keep reading. Jump to verse 20, 21. That I may cause those that love me to inherit substance. Inherit what? Their everlasting life. And I will fill their treasures. The Lord, the Mosai, uppercase L-O-R-D, possess me in the beginning of his way. Who, who possessed who in the beginning of the way? Yahushua. Father possessed the son. Before his works of old, the father possessed, possessed Yahushua. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. Yahushua Mashiach is speaking here in the book of Proverbs chapter 8. Pay attention. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains abounding with water, Yahushua Mashiach. Before the fountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest parts of the dust of the world, when he prepared the heavens, I was there, Yahushua Mashiach. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth, Yahushua Mashiach. Then I was by him as one brought up with him. I was daily his delight, his son, rejoicing always before him. Rejoicing in, the inhabit rejoicing in the habitable parts of his earth. And my delights were with the sons of men. Now, dear, hearken, now therefore hearken unto me, 
O ye children, Yahushua, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Yahushua say what? You are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. He said, hearken, listen, and keep my ways, you will be blessed. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Follow me, my commandments. Blessed is a man that heareth me. You say what? My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Hear, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whosoever findeth me, findeth life. Pay attention and shall obtain favor of the Lord. No man can come to me except the Father draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. But he that sinneth against me, who don't want to keep God's laws, wrong at his own soul. You this what? You're wrong in your own soul because you, your soul will be destroyed in the lake of fire. All they that hate me, love them. All if you don't love him, if you if you don't love him, you hate him. He said, if you don't love me, you hate me, and you love them. Go back to um, John 15 and 14. Yeah, my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you. If you do what I command you, so if you don't do what this command you, you are his enemies or you hate him. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I commanded you that you love one another. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, of the rest of them, the world would love his own. If you are a sinner or violated the law, they will love you. Pay attention. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world of Israel. Pay attention. Therefore the world hated you. That's why your brethren will hate you behind. Now, why were they killing the prophets? Because they were chosen out of the world. Who was the Peters? Who were the Pauls? Who was the Stephans? Pay attention. Who were these men? They were the chosen or the elected or the saints of God. Men destined back to be angels. Pay attention. Now when Paul say, I have finished my course. The time of the, my departure is at hand. I've done my, 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 my job. I'm now ready to be delivered. He said, I'm, I'm now ready to be offered. Offered for what? To go back. To go back home. These men understood. Pay attention. You ready? You ready to go home? Pay attention. Jump to verse 27. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit of the Father, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. The twelve disciples and all who follow in them will testify or confess or teach just to the Most High God, because they were with him from the beginning. They are what? Elect chosen saints angels were with him from the beginning the spirits pay attention it's heavenly spirits heavenly spirits that will you come to get them back home pay attention go get the siblings go get them back home go to john 14 and read 21 to 23 john 14 21 to 23 he that had my commandments and keep at them he it is that loveth me so if what did he say in proverbs 8 and 36 he that sinneth against me, wrong at his own soul. All they that hate me, love them. If you hate him, you love them. Back to John 14, 21. He that had my commandments and keep them, if you keep the commandments, he it is that loveth me. That's how you love me. If you don't want to keep the commandments, you hate me and you love death. I will destroy your soul. That's what Yahushua says. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. I will what? Send my Holy Spirit unto him. Judas said unto him, Not his chariot. Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not to the world? Why not to the rest of them? You're manifesting yourself to us, the twelve disciples. And what happened to the rest of them? Yahushua answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. They have to obey me. They have to keep my commandments. They have to follow my commands. Pay attention. For me to manifest myself unto them. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Stipulations. You must obey what you've been commanded by your Father and the Son, and whosoever He sent, the disciples, and who obey them, pay attention, to, for the Father and Son to come and make their abode with you. Pay attention to the Spirit. The Spirit of Yahushua and the Holy Spirit of the Father, the Spirit of truth. And they, we will come and make our abode with Him. Dwell with you. Abode means what? Dwelling anywhere in your temple. Pay attention. You'll have the Spirit of the Father and the Son in you. Pay attention. So who's teaching and who's projecting? The Most High God. Pay attention. He that loveth, he that loveth me not, keepeth not my sins, because all they that hate me, love death. So that's why you're not going to keep his sins. Sins, you hate God. 
Pay attention. You hate the Father and you hate the Son. And the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. Yahushua said, this is not my word. I don't teach you nothing of my own. So guess what I'm teaching here? Nothing of my own. The word of who? The most side. So if you hate it, you hate the Father, you hate the Son. And you love death. That's what he said. And the word which you hear is not mine. Nothing in this Bible is by, is, is by any private interpretation. It's not the prophet word. It's the words of the Most High God. But the Father which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, or the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. John 1 and 10. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. He was rejected of who the scribes, Pharisees, elders, and many other people of Israel. But as many as received him, who heard him and followed him and obeyed him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. To become what? Power. Elect saints. Back to angels. Become what? Children of God. Sons of God or heirs of God. Romans 8, 16, 17. Pay attention. Even to them that believe on his name, who take heed to the commandments. To believe means what? He that believeth taketh heed to the commandments of the God. Surah 32, 32, 24. You will do the commandments to get what? Back to be sons of God, or elect, or chosen, or, or saints, or back to angels, which were born. These ones are what? Who will hear and understand what Yahushua teaching, or the Most High God message. They were what? Born, not of the blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. These spirits are spirits of God. They are heavenly spirits, and they are earthly evil spirits. Some have evil spirits on them. These ones who will hear and understand have the Spirit of God on them. Pay attention. They were born of God. Yeah, that's why they are both sons of God. They go back to be angels. That's what we tell you. Which were born not of the blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. They are God's actual Spirit. Have the actual Holy Spirit on them. Pay attention. Go to 1 John 3, 9 and 10. 1 John 3, verse 9 and 10. Whosoever is born of God, does not commit sin. These ones who are born of God will repent, confess, and forsake their sins. Because in sin, we were born in a sinful realm, from Adam's transgression. But you will what? Hear the teaching, process it, and repent, confess, and forsake your sins going forward. Pay attention. Because what? Whosoever is born of God, because you were born of God, you are the sons of God, elect, saints, chosen, or angels. Pay attention. Going back to your angelic status. That's why he's doing a transforming us right now. It's a transformation. A spiritual transformation. That we say what? Present your body a living sacrifice. You have to sacrifice this flesh. Sacrifice the earthly flesh, the sins that you love. And become, become, become a new creature. A new creation. And be not, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Let go like these things. Because you are born of God. You bring it to your, you bring it to your, 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 your comprehension or your understanding and you will just let it go. Pay attention. Whosoever is born of God, have the Holy Spirit on them does not commit sin, you will come back to them laws. For his seed remaineth in him. You have the seed of God, the actual seed of God. The seed means what? Chosen, elect, saints, angels, sons of God, prince of, that had the power with God, or heirs of God. Pay attention. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. You are this actual holy seed. In this the children of God are manifest. You are what? Children of God, of the holy seed, back to angels or princes that have the power with God. And the children of the devil, who refusing to keep the commandments, who continue to sin and violate. Pay attention. He said, children of the devil, among with the heathen nations, who are never given give them my laws. Because why? They are children of the devil. And you Israelite like brothers and sisters who refusing to repent and come back to the laws. He said, what? Children of the devil. You have sold their soul to Satan if you can't understand the teaching and start to confess. You're not going to change everything in one shot. As you learn a sin, teach me. I want to learn. Teach me. I want to learn. Teach me, I want to learn, and you'll be taught, and as you learn a sin, repent, confess it, and forsake it. It's stages. It's all stages. We all start at one point. We all start by keeping one law. Remember the Sabbath day. Keep it holy. Pay attention. We stop. We all stop, stop eating defiled foods, and we start to search out what defiled, searching the, the scriptures, go to the Leviticus 11, read, read the dietary law, we go through, search, search all the scriptures and see what is defiled, what is undefiled. Pay attention, and we start to apply it. One by one, one by one, one by one, law by confess and forsake it. That's it. The most I see is you, you, you willing, if thou art willing, thou will be taught. My son, if thou will, thou will be taught. I will, I will teach you and guide you. Pay attention. I will send teachers to guide you. Pay attention. In this the churn of God are manifest and the churn of the devil. Who don't want to do it? Whosoever does not righteousness is not of God. 
neither he that loveth not his brother, who don't want to keep them laws, who is still I keep, I'm, 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 I'm keeping the laws, and in the midst of willful sin still, still deceitful, still crafty, still violating, sinning, willingly, not talking about ignorance, willingly, willfully violating all laws. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. Go to Romans 8 and 16. You say what? In this the children of God are manifest and the children of the devil. Romans 8, 16. The children of God on the earth and children of the devil. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit is a bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, will bear witness with our spirit whether we obey in, we in obedience or submit, submission to His laws that we are the children of God. You're going to know. And if children then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with, with Mashiach, heirs of God, you have to be princes of God. That was um, Exodus 32, 28. You also say, as a prince, you, Jacob, have power with God. You have power with God. Prince of God. You are son of God. That's why you can wrestle with me. <laughs> and I can't give it from you. Pay attention. So that's some serious power. Because you're a prince. You're royalty. Romans 11, 5 to 7. Romans chapter 11, verse 5 to 7. Even so then, at this present time, there is a remnant according to the, the election of grace. Under your grace and faith, there's a remnant of the children of Israel. A remnant going to escape. According to what? Election. They are the elect. The elect among the children of Israel under the grace and faith. Who are going to return to them laws? The ones who are going to say we are the grace and faith, we continue in sin. You are nail the law to the cross. We have to keep none. You are not the elect. Pay attention. You are not the elect. The elect, my sheep hear my voice. And I know them and they follow me. The elect will return. Pay attention. Jump to verse 7. What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, salvation. But the election had obtained obtain it. The elect of God will get salvation or everlasting life or back to the angels of God's or heirs of God. Pay attention. And join here with Yahushua Mashiach. And the rest were blinded. Blinded because they love sin. We love sin. We don't, we don't love the Most High. You know, we shall say, all that hate me love death. John 8, 34. John chapter 8, verse 34. The relationship between what? Angels, saints, and the elect. John 8, 34. Who can hear and who can hear? That's what he's saying. Some go here. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they will follow me. John 8, 34. Yahushua answered them. Verily. Yahushua answered them, the Pharisees. Verily, verily I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is a servant of sin. He said to the Pharisees, whosoever continue willfully sinning, willfully breaking the laws, you know, you understand, you hear the teaching, you've seen it, and you still don't want to change. I still don't want to stop. It's not a battling. You battle with certain things. You will battle and you will struggle, but you will overcome. The most I will give you the power to overcome. Once you sincere. But the one say, I ain't doing that. Hell no. Hell no. He that what committed sin is the servant of sin. You're serving Satan. And the servant abided not in the house forever, but the son abided forever. And if the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. If you follow me or do what I command you to keep the commandments and the precepts, you will be made free. Freed from where? The claws of Satan. You're trapped in Satan's snares. You're in hell. Israelites, newsflash. I know that you're Abraham's seed. Yes, I know you Pharisees are my brothers and my siblings, but you seek to kill me. Why do you want to put me to death? Because my word had no place in you, because you cannot understand what I'm teaching. Pay attention. Now we say, John 1, John 3 and 10, in this the children of God are manifest and the children of the devil. They want to willfully break God's laws, rely on animal sacrifice. You say what? Why you want to kill me? Because my word or God's laws has no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and you do that which you have seen with your father. Your father is Satan. My father is the Mosa, Yahushua said. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Yahushua said unto them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now we seek to kill me, a man that had told you the truth, I teach you the God's laws, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. Abraham was not with God in the heavenly realm. You should say, I come at the Most High God message directly. You do the deeds of your father. He's telling you, you have a different father to me. The Most High is not your father. You're Israelite born, but the Most High is not your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father. We have what? One father. Even God. We have Israelite like you. We are your brethren, Yahushua. Yahushua said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God, Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. You will understand my message. Why do you not understand my speech? 
Even because you cannot hear my words. Yahushua say, why are you not understanding what I'm teaching? It's because you cannot receive it. Pay attention. Ye are of your father the devil. He tell the Pharisees, you are Israelite born, but you have your who? Children of the devil. Verse 4, John 3 and 10. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, because you cannot understand my teaching. You don't want to be refusing to keep the laws. That's what he's saying. You're refusing, willfully refusing to keep it. You're not trying. You're not striving. Not telling you you're going to keep everything, you're going to learn everything in, a, in, in, a, in, a, in a snap of your fingers. You no, know, yet one as you learn them, one at a time. One brick at a time. How you build a house? One brick at a time. Pay attention. And the house, no matter how big you want to build it, one brick at a time. You could only build one brick at a time. You can't do ten and three. One brick at a time. One block. Where they have ten men working, one block at a time. One block at a time. Because they had to tie them into each other. Pay attention. He said, what? You have your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. Because they love sin. They lust. They love and the lust of this world. Pay attention. He was a murderer from the beginning. That's why you want to put me to death. You have the murderer spirit. And I bore nothing the truth. He never keep the laws. Because there is no truth in him. Because he, he did what? He murdered Eve and Adam. Pay attention. By destroying Eve, he defiled her. And he take out Eve and Adam. Get them cast out of the garden. Into hell. And that we are, where we are what? Unto this day. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. I teach you the God laws. Repent and come back unto the laws. Follow me. You don't want to believe. You, you say you believe not. Which of you convinced me of sin? Yeah, we say, which, one, which one of you could convince me to, to go on the animal sacrifice? Which is what? Sin. Which is what? Sin. Is animal sacrifice is willful sin. Kill an animal. Now we always say, which of you could convince me to go under the law? I give you grace. I know what I give you. Pay attention. I know what the law, the most high God laws, I know what the animal sacrifice law is about. It's sin. It's sin and will, willful sin. Kill an animal to offset the penalty that the most high them put it to death. And I say the truth. Why do you not believe me? He, he that is of God, under grace and faith, is the truth. Under grace and faith, cut off animal sacrifice and offerings and keep the rest of the law. <laughs> That's the truth. And he said, why you can't believe that? But they will know the sacrifice and pay attention. He that is of God, hear at God's word because they want to stay in their willful sin. You see, he that committed sin is a servant of sin. They are willfully serving Satan. So under grace and faith, faith. under grace and faith, guess what? If you don't want to keep the rest of them laws, minus animal sacrifice and offerings, you are what? Worshipping Satan. Pay attention. He that is of God, hear at God's word. If you are a saint, an elect, a chosen, or an angel of God, that, that want to get back home to God, or heir of God, or a child of God, that want to get back to your angelic status, you will what? Hear. You will hear God. God's word. You will hear what he's teaching. Follow me. You will repent. He that is of God, hear at God's word. If you are a child of God, you therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. You are not a child of God. Children of God, children of Satan. Pay attention. Then answer the Jews. Then answer who? The Jews, not the heathen. These men teaching all kind of false doctrine. Then answer who? The Jews. Pay attention. They are Israelites. That we say, we are Abraham's seed. We are your brethren, Yahushua. Then answer the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan? They were what? They were southern kingdom predominantly, and they say, You're from the northern kingdom. You're from the hood or the ghetto. Pay attention. And has a devil. They tell you, Yahushua, what? You're from the hood. You have a devil on you. Pay attention. Pride is what gets them to kill. Arrogance. Pay attention. They are the spirit of Satan on him. You should answer, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and you just you do this on me. He said, I have no devil on me. I honor the most, I'm representing the most high. And you what? Dishonoring me. So guess who you're dishonoring? The most high that they say is, you're keeping animal sacrifice for, and it's ever sort of laws. He said, what? You're going to die. Because all they that hate me, love death. Psalm 149 verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And his praise in the congregation of the saints. The congregation of the church of the saints. Let Israel, let who? Who are the saints? The Israelites. Rejoice in him that made him, the Mosai. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and the harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation, the children of Israel. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen, and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains, and their nobles with fetters of iron. They are going into captivity, shackled, just as they shackle us in the transatlantic slave trade. 
in, as just as the shackles in the sub-Saharan slave trade. They are all going into shackles and chains. To execute upon them the judgment written by who? The Mosai. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. And so the Mosai said, I come to judge the heathen. Pay attention. Psalm 46. I'm coming to judge them. Psalm 46 and 6. The heathen rage. The kingdoms are moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. He's with what? He's coming to shut the heathen. Shut the heathen down. Psalm 47 and 3. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He's coming to put them into captivity. God reigned over the heathen. God sitted upon the thrones of his holiness. Pay attention. Go back to Psalms 119 verse 9. One, Psalms 149 verse 9. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Have who? His saints. So who's going to be fighting with the Moody when he comes back? The angels. So who are the saints? The angels who have fulfilled the laws. Pay attention. The elect. Our saints are chosen. Our angels who have fulfilled the laws. Pay attention. That's why they come and they say, the, the angel tells John the Revelator, I am thy fellow servant and brethren the prophet. Raphael tells Tobit and Tobias, I am your brethren. I am Azarias. Pay attention. I am an Israelite like you that have fulfilled the law and be transformed. Out. Tobit 12 and 1. Then Tobit called his son Tobias and said unto him, Because angels, saints, and elect, and their relationship. What is the connection? Then Tobit called his son Tobias and said unto him, My son, see that the man, Raphael, the, the archangel, have his wages, wages that appeared unto him as a man, and went to him to Media and brought him back. And which went with thee? And thou must give him more. He said, Pay him away, promise him, and give him an extra. And Tobias said unto him, O oh, father, it is no harm to me to give him half of those things which I have brought. He said, I could give him half of, the, half of the ten talents. He said, that don't mean nothing to me. Ten talents of silver. He said, I could give him half of that. Because he's what? My brethren. For he had brought me again to thee safely, and made whole my wife, and brought me the money, and likewise healed thee. He do more than we, 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 we anticipated, or more than we wanted. Then the old man said, it is due unto him. Tobit said, give him. So he called the angel, which is Raphael the archangel, in the form of a man, and said unto him, take half of all that you have brought, and go away in safety. He was charitable to his brethren. He said, what, go? Then he took them both apart. Raphael said, separate, separate them, and said unto them, bless God, praise him, and magnify him. And praise him for the things which he had done unto you in the sight of all that live. He said, pray, pray the most, bless the most high. What did the angel tell John the Revelation? See thou, do it not. Don't worship me. Worship the most high. Pay attention. Tobit 12 and verse 6. It is good to praise God and exalt his name. And honorable to show forth the works of God. He said, it is good to praise him. But honorable to show forth the works of God. Why are we here? Showing forth the works of God. His power. Pay attention. And His majesty. Right now. Is honorable. It's the honorable thing to do. What? To go and confess Him. And testify Him. My Savior openly. And honorable to show forth the works of God. The, the therefore be not slack to praise Him. Don't be what? Slack to give praise and glory to the Most High. It is good to keep close the secret of a king. When a king confides something in he say, Keep it secret. It's good. Earthly man. Be immortal, but it is honorable to reveal the works of God. But is what? It's an honor to reveal what the Most High is showing to you and revealing to you. Go and teach it. Go and confess it. Go and profess it. Go and stand up stiffly for the name of the Lord. Pay attention. Go and testify, rebuke, reprove, correct your brothers and sisters because the Most High is revealing it to you. All they that hate me love death. If they don't come back, they're going to die. So go and, go, and, go and warn them. It is good to keep close the secret of a king. If an earthly man confides something in you, he says, keep it. But it is honorable to reveal the works of the Most High God. What the Most High revealed to you in the book, go on. it's an honorable thing. Go on, teach it. Pay attention. Do that which is good, and no evil shall touch you. Keep the commandment. What is good? Romans 7 and 12. For the law is holy, and the commandments holy, and just and good. Keep the law and the commandments of the Most High, and no evil shall touch thee. Because all they that hate me love death. Proverbs 8 and 36. If you don't keep the commandments, Evil shall touch you. But if you keep it, no evil shall touch you. Pay attention. Prayer is good with fasting and arms and righteousness. Keeping the commandments is all good. Praying, keeping the commandments, giving arms, fasting. All in, 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 in connection. A little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. You have much wealth and you're wicked as hell, not keeping the laws. Pay attention. And then you have a little wealth and you're keeping the laws. 
It is better to give alms than to lay up gold. It's better to be charitable, give your alms to help out the poor nation. Pay attention. Who keeping them commandments? And what? To lay up gold. I must well for yourself. Pay attention. I am rich. I make it. For arms that deliver from death. That little that you're helping the poor nations will save your soul. If you what? Stipulation. And shall purge away all sin. How? Those that exercise arms and righteousness. Giving arms and keeping them commandments. Shall be filled with life. Shall be filled with what? Everlasting life or eternal life. Or back as angels. Pay attention. Or God. But they that sin are enemies to their own life. So you could give arms how much you want. And you want how much you want. And you violate the, the most high God laws. There's no eternal life for you, you're going to die. But they that sin are enemies to their own life, to their own immortality or their own everlasting life or their own salvation or back returning to God's. I would just say, I have said you are God's, but you're going to die like men. All you are the children of the Most High, but you're going to die like men like, and fall like one of the princes, one of these hidden. Because they continue to willfully sin. Surely I will keep close nothing from you. For I said, it was good to keep close the secret of a king, but that it is that it was honorable to reveal the works of God. Raphael say, I ain't holding nothing back from you, Tobias and Tobit, I'm telling you all. Now therefore, when thou didst pray, and Sarah thy daughter-in-law, I did bring the remembrance of your prayers before the Holy One. You say what? I take your prayers to the Father. Thou didst bury the dead. I was with thee likewise. When Tobit was burying the dead of his nation, that the heathen was killing and leaving in the streets like dogs. He was guarding them and buried them, guarding them and buried them, and they, they cast him in exile. He had to run for life. And when thou didst not delay to rise up and leave thy dinner to go and cover the dead, when Tobias came and said, There's a man dead. He just leave his dinner and go and bury him. Thy good deed was not hid from me. Raphael say what? I was seen it all. But I was with thee. And now God had sent me to heal thee and save thy daughter in law. So when he was doing them deeds, Raphael say, I was with you. I was always there. Pay attention. Who was Tobin that he was always with him? Pay attention. And now, because he was keeping them laws. And now God had sent me to heal thee and save thy daughter in law. Moses, he said, What? Beware of entertaining what strangers, for some have entertained angels unaware. That's um, Hebrews 12 and 2. He said, I was with thee always, and God sent me to heal you of your blindness and save thy daughter in law. Pay attention. Chase what the devil from possessing her and putting men left to death, left, right, and center. Pay attention, the devil had taken hold of her. Pay attention. He was the one killing them seven husbands. Pay attention. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels. He said what? I am Raphael, one of the what? Seven holy angels, the archangels, which present the prayers of the saints. He said we represent who? Your prayers, Tobit. You are who, who? So who was Tobit? Who are the, the children of Israel scattered in the four winds? The saints that are going to return to them laws. So he, they are presenting all our prayers, keeping them laws. And which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. Then they were both troubled and fell upon their faces for they feared. That's when he revealed himself who he was to them. Pay attention. But they were seeing a man all along. And they what? Fell upon their faces in fear. But he said unto them, Fear not, for it shall go well with you. Praise God therefore. Continue keeping them laws and give praise to the Most High. For not of any favor of mine. He said, I didn't come and do it for what? Because I want to do it. But by the will of our God. By the what? The will of our, or you are, means what? That's a personal, private, the Israelites, my brethren. I came by our God, my Father, sent me to his, his children. Wherefore, praise him forever. Praise the Heavenly Father, the Most High. All these days I did appear unto you, but I did neither eat nor drink, but ye did see a vision. Now therefore give God thanks, for I go up to him that sent me. But write all these things which are done in a book. He said, write everything where? In a book. Document it. Pay attention. So holy men of God speak as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Better you always say, write it in a table, note it in a book. Write Jeremiah, what I revealed to you, Jeremiah 13, 1, Isaiah 13, 1. Write it in a book. Write it and leave it records for the rest that are coming after you. Pay attention. And when they arose, they saw him no more. He was gone. Pay attention. Then they confessed the great and wonderful works of God, how the angel of the Lord had appeared unto them. They never knew he was an angel until he revealed himself. And then he got, poof. Disappeared a puff of smoke. As he came, he was gone. Then they what? Confess. So they're going to come and testify. Joshua chapter 5, verse 13. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. So when he looked, he see a man with a sword. 
And Joshua went unto him. Joshua did what? Run away from him. No, he did not run away from him. He did what? He went unto him because he's a man of God. Pay attention. He said what? He, and Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Are thou for us or for our adversaries? He said, Are you for us or, 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 or for, for our enemies? And he said, Nay, I'm not for your enemies, but as captain of the host of the Lord. I am who? The captain of the host of the Lord, the heavenly host, the, the army of the Lord. Am I now come? I what? The most I said, and Joshua fell on his face to the earth. He realizes what? Angel, the captain of the heavenly host. And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord, am I now come? And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, What saith my Lord unto his servant? He said, What? What saith my Lord? He addressed the angel as my Lord unto his servant. And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Lose thy shoe from out thy foot, for the place wherein thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. He said, What? The holy angels in the presence. So the holy angels, they're coming for their virgin. The virgin. If you violate the law, he's going to be against you. And if you keep the law, they're for you. Pay attention. I pray you get some understanding from today's class as to, as to, as, as to the, re the relationship between the angels, saints, elect. They are one and the same. The saints, the elect of God, are the children of Israel, the chosen from among them, the remnant or the residue who will return to the Most High God laws, who will repent confess and forsake their, their sins, these are the what? The spirits that were born of God, that were with God, the Most High, from the beginning, the beginning of creation. Pay attention, that are here trapped in what? Mortal bodies, going through what? A tribulation or trial period. Pay attention, going through a test. Pay attention, to overcome, overcome the sinful realm. And we turn back to the Most High God. Lord, he's sending the heavenly host to fish for, fish for the brethren. Each one teach one. Each one teach one. They come in and, and fish for the brethren. I am one of you. This is what to do. Follow me. Follow me. This is what I did to get out. This is what I did to escape the matrix. This is what I did to escape hell. Follow me. Pay attention. Obey the commandments. I pray you get some understanding from today's class that the elect, the saints, will become the angels of God by coming back to the law. You can only be an elect or a saint by coming back to the laws of God. Otherwise, you Israelite brothers and sisters that refuse to repent, you're going to die like mere men. You're going to fall like the princes. You say, all oh, they that hate me, love them. I pray you get some understanding from today's class. Shalom.